everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and today let us have a good time together again uh, first we say thank you Lord for having all those people here and uh, many of them they are coming here to learn uh, some of them they are just coming to laugh and we know every person have his own purpose in life right but the person who is the smart one is the one he love in the right time Muslims always they say to us that the Quran is for sure is from God now I don't want to you know you know argue with that we want facts see if you go to the Quran <clears throat> you will see the Quran saying many times if you are truthful, give us your proof. If you are truthful. And even Allah, he said that to the angels, which is very funny. Because it looked like Allah, his house is corrupt. Even his angels are a bunch of liars. Uh, in chapter 23, verse 117, it says, that the one who worship or invoke beside Allah, which is very funny, I mean, there's people don't believe in Allah anyway. What beside Allah? Any other God has no authority therefore, and this is, and his rocking will be only with his Lord. Here the translation is really funny, you know. Uh, it's not authority, it says there is no proof, you know, not authority. I mean, I don't know who this translator is. But maybe he is the same as Ibn Farooq, who do not know how to write a verse in the Quran. Maybe he's from Pakistan. I think Yusuf Ali from Pakistan, isn't he? Mm. So, see, he has no proof. No proof. So, the question here is, do we have a proof that Allah is even a God? When the Muslims they make a challenge saying, uh, "This is a book for sure is not from you know this is not man-made." Okay, why why you are saying so? Uh, because simply you know uh, you know this book is obviously is not man-made. Okay, why why you say so? Well, then the Abdul they come to us and they say, uh, "Okay, let us tell you why we say so." So fine, this is not man-made. This is the words of Allah. Find me one error in this, I'll leave Islam. How's that? Challenge. <laughs> so today, we are going to do nothing except errors. And my Skype is open to any Abdul. I'm not going to challenge this guy to, to come to debate me because he's a potato. And actually, I encourage you to go and see this video of uh, the brother here who did a great job, actually. Uh, I like what he did. He goes straight to the point. Don't play games write it you know i mean imagine the coward he asked him to write a verse and it doesn't take you even 30 seconds to write it i mean the whole verse is nothing it's very short so what an excuse so there is many reasons he could not write it number one he cannot he cannot remember it he didn't remember. they say we memorize the quran and he claimed to be a sheikh he himself do not even know the verse he looked at the phone to look at the verse and he said oh oh how I'm going to write this one? <laughs> I like what this uh, brother did. I don't know him. I never, you know, I, this is the first time I see his video. If you know his channel, go and subscribe to his channel. You know, I'm. Uh, I see people posting his video, but I don't. I don't see where what channel it is. Uh, go straight to the point. Don't let the Abdul play. Not like when David Wood and Anthony Roger, they went to uh, to Ibn Farouk. They just made him famous and they did not debate him. You know, they start talking about philosophy and stupid things. I mean, who cares about it? What is missing is to talk about weather. Honestly, very silly, you know, uh, immature talk from both sides. This guy, he got him in the bone. He have a nail with him. He have the hammer. He hit it there. And now Ibn Farooq, he have a difficulty to take it off. I'm not going to tell you where he nailed him, but you can tell. Now, <clears throat> uh, my Skype is open. And I am here to challenge those who claim that the Quran 
is error free we have somebody is but this is from before i guess let us see do we have any muslim would like to call us <coughs> any muslim any muhammadan okay Okay. I'm reading text, you know, people, they send me messages in Skype. All right. Do we have any Abdul? anyone let us see this person he called from before but I don't know you know just to see if we can get Abdul let us see this one <coughs> we will lower the sound of the ringing well he is not answering okay it look like we have another person trying to call Yes, my friend, you are live on air. What do you like to share with us? You know our topic today? Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about something you said two days ago. Okay, are you a Muslim first? I'm a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Okay, and you speak Arabic, right? Uh, All right, go ahead. What do you want to say? So you said uh, that we never, like, it's Islamically not allowed to say, Sallu ala, and then someone else and the Prophet, right? You said that? Well, the Quran, the Quran never mentioned anyone beside Muhammad. Is it true? Um, but not only in the Quran, we also have Hadith. Well, I mean, no, I'm talking about the Quran. So you are talking in the Hadith, you say something about the same person, you, you pray on him? Uh, someone else than the Prophet, yes. Okay, what about the Quran? Uh, besides the Quran, because like, it's not only the Quran, it's also what the Prophet said. Okay, so if, said, but, okay, but our, our, our challenge here, if there is any, are you as a Muslim allowed to say something additional to the Quran? Yes, of course, we can say things okay. based on that. All right. So when Allah, he says, Allah and his angels, they pray on Muhammad. Did he say and pray on Ibrahim? It's, but that's a sunnah. That's, no, no, no. That's a, so why Allah, why Allah did not say uh, pray on Ibrahim, pray in, uh, 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 in Musa's, pray on, why only on Muhammad? We, I'm not a Quranic, like, I take the hadith beside the Quran so okay I will go with you so something. so you are yeah. going to say to me oh we have hadith says that uh, Salli ala Ibrahim correct not, not only not no 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 okay. with a hadith it says the Prophet the Prophet gave, gave, um, someone gave all alms to the Prophet and the Prophet said oh Allah send blessings upon the offsprings of that of that person it's in a Sahih Buhari okay what is Buhari. did he say blessing or uh, Salah Blessings, of course. We Salah, are talking about Salah. 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 Salah ala Ali Abi Fulan. Okay. So, what the word Salah in Arabic mean? Salah means prayer, but Salah ala okay. means send blessings upon. That's so, obvious. Like so, no, okay. So, how Salah is a prayer, and then it became a blessing. First of all, we can open the dictionary Arabic. now. Okay. Listen, okay, yeah. you know, if I if, if I pray to Allah, it's a prayer. So, if I pray on you, it's a blessing. Okay, I will I will go with you. Yes. Who is the one who do the blessing? If I pray on you, Allah, of course. Okay. Allah sends blessings. Okay. Upon Can anyone else beside Allah send the blessing? No. Yeah, and the angels, of course. And the angels? Why they are God? 
No, it's in the, in the Quran. The Quran said that. This is another question. Why, why, are they God? How uh, you know? Obviously, they are not. But okay. Allah said, "In Allah wal malaikata yusalluna ala nabi." Exactly. So is, is, this is a mistake because so, if Allah is only God, uh, you know. But the, Allah is the God. He, he he decided that the angels can send blessings too. No, 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 Allah. no. You if you read if you read the verse with me, it says, "In Allah wal malaikata yusalluna ala nabi." Both okay. they are doing the same job, correct? No. It doesn't say that Allah He sent the Drop blessing it. to the angels. Let us read together, chapter thirty-three, yes. verse number fifty-six. Can you read it? Wait, let me get it. Okay. Uh, fifty-six, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Okay. In Arabic or in a, in a, in a... It doesn't matter for me. Read it. I don't know. In Allah, one mala eka to you, so Luna Alan Nabi. Ya, you had the Dina Amanu, so Louis Alehi was a name of the name. All right, so now what we have is it the angels and Allah doing the same job exactly? It's uh, the angels, angels, uh, Allah that sent uh, tells the angel to do where, the where it says Allah, He tell the angels, and then the angels they tell the prophet. Are you making things up? That's obvious because. It's that's obvious. It's like when Allah takes a soul. Does Allah take the soul? No, the, the angels take the soul. Okay, you know what? Uh, I will go with you. So, okay. if the angel, if Allah He sent the blessing already, do He need the angels to send it? Are, are you saying to me that your Allah, like when you play tennis, you know, there's two guys playing tennis, and then the, the ball did not go far. Uh, did He need like somebody to carry the ball? So, if Allah no. sent the blessing, is the blessing is some is a material? Is a blessing no, no. is heavy? Is a blessing is it is an order don't you Muslim you say if Allah says B is going to be yes obvious okay but like what I what I know what, what I told you when Allah takes a soul hmm. Allah doesn't take it it's the angel uh, take it where knows. take it where is it something physical what do you mean take it no no I mean like when he when the person dies no no and this is not, I'm talking I'm talking about the blessing focus with me but that's the same that's the same no blessing is blessing Allah, my, my Allah, friend, Allah tells my friend. Angels to do blessing a blessing okay a blessing is it some, is, is it something physical it's not something physical okay it's so if Allah he bless if Allah he blessed a person he is a blessed that said there is no need for angels there is no need for a human there is no need for anybody yes okay so what is the job of the angels there they convey it what do you mean they convey it is if it, he blessed you already I, I I really don't understand what you mean because it's the my same friend, as, as okay. when someone dies. My, my friend, is the yes. distance between your prophet and his God make a difference for Allah? In what sense? In any sense, because why I need a delivery of the blessing if he blessed already Muhammad, so he is blessed. There's no need for somebody to carry something is not there. You know, blessing is not something you can carry. So it's like saying it, that, that's like saying when someone dies, Allah when he takes a soul, it, he doesn't need the angels. Or like when when Allah wants to send messenger uh, a message to the world, He doesn't need messengers. Mm. That that doesn't make sense at all. Okay, so uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense. I mean, this is this is your logic. Uh, I, I love the no, logic of the Muslims. I love the logic of the Muslims. Look what you just. You don't say. have medical modes. Okay, you don't have medical modes. I have what? Medical modes. The the angel yeah, that yeah, takes the, the soul yeah, the in one. the Christianity. Yeah, no, we don't have such a you know such a thing. That because because in Islam, don't have. no, no, you, we don't have such a thing because in Islam you have a fairy tale stories about a guy, two guys, okay. not one, two guys. <laughs> they will come to you in the grave and they will hit you with the hammer and they will put you down seventy feet and then the scorpion you say, will you come. You're saying you're saying that the father can do that. Your your God. Who? Your father, the father, the father, your God. You say he can do that. Can do what? He can't. He can't make two people come to the grave. Why he want to do oh, that? Can't. I mean, this is silly. What does that mean? The guy is dead. The guy, the guy is dead. The guy is dead. So, and the, so, what the day of resurrection for? So now he's in the grave. He's alive or he's dead? He's he's alive, but not in Dar al Barzakh. Dar al Barzakh, yani not not alive <laughs> in the sense of this world. Okay, let's go back to our topic. So, if Allah okay. He sent His uh, His blessing, the blessing of Allah will not go to Muhammad unless the angels they carry the blessing. Is that what you say? No, no, no. No. So what? No, no, no. Tell me more. Allah, Allah says, "In Allah wal malaikata, he, 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 he himself he sends the blessings, but also the malaika, the angels. Hmm. But he uses the angels to send. Like uh, he also used the angels. Look with, at the fabrication. Um, you are just wait, wait, adding wait. words to the Quran. Does, does it say in the Quran? Be honest. 
and also he sent the blessing with the angels. Does it say that, or this is your edition? It's obvious. No, that's obvious. Don't tell me about the obvious. It's the obvious that Allah he do not know what he's talking about. I can say the same because look at this. <laughs> yeah, because if Allah, no. okay, hold on. The yes. blessing you said is from Allah. Allah he gave it to the angels, and let us continue then. And then, oh, who you believe, send the blessing on him. Like what the heck? Okay, we got the angels. They are carrying the blessing. And but, now well, Muhammad, wait, wait. Tell, say, tell me. Can you tell me what's sending blessings upon? How you tell uh, me? Humans. Yeah, it's Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. It's Allahumma. Yeah. Oh Allah, uh, send blessings upon the Prophet. And? What does and? that mean? What does that mean? Allah does it. It doesn't mean the, the but, people do but it. But Allah you, you already said, oh. sent the blessing. So why why, the, why he's asking the people to ask Allah to send the blessing if Allah already blessed Muhammad? To send more blessings, maybe. What more? Is, uh, it like, like, is it about how many kilograms? No, it's about how many blessings. What? How many blessings? Bro, that's what logical. That will do that's if, if, logical. If, uh, hold on, hold on. How many blessings? What does that mean, guys? Look at this madness. The guy the is already blessed. That's, that's, that's logical. That's logical. What, that's logical. Okay, you see, obviously, you, you Muslims, you are confused about the word blessing. What does blessing mean? Okay, okay, wait. Uh, let's go back to my question. I said to you, you said you said in your stream, yes, you can, we, we as Muslims, we don't... We are not allowed to send blessings on anyone besides the Prophet, right? And Ibrahim. Well, according to the then Quran. Then why? According to the Quran. Yeah, you said in, in, in general. You said in general. You well, said it's is, not this allowed. Is, this is, your, said, under this is your understanding. This is your understanding. But I'm asking you now. Does, yes. the, does the Quran say that he's asking you, Allah is asking the Muslims well, to send the blessing on Muhammad? Can you repeat that? Are you going to answer it or not? Is Allah asking the muslims to send the blessing on muhammad it's not he's not asking he's saying yeah it's, it's, Guys, it's he the order he's not asking he is saying look at the difference now. A, look, look at the order okay. so, guys he is not asking he is saying what does that mean so allah is asking no, no, he's it's, not it's asking. It's an order. It's an order. It's an order. It's an oh, order. Okay. So yeah, Allah he gave an order. Know. Listen, guys. Allah he gave an order to the Muslim to send the blessing on Muhammad. And uh, okay, the, the Muslim now they are going to obey the order of Allah, and they will send the blessing on Muhammad. What will happen next? I don't see what's wrong with that. You know, I'm asking you what will happen next. Now I, we did the order. Allah he ordered us to send the blessing on Muhammad. Okay, I bless you, Muhammad. And what will happen it's next now? And Allah blesses Muhammad. Oh, so Allah, he cannot bless Muhammad unless the Muslims ask for Allah to, to bless Muhammad. So Allah, he ordered the Muslims, bless Muhammad, say, say blessing on you, Muhammad, and I will send more blessing, correct? No, Allah bless Muhammad already. Okay, so why? For his, see, see, for his, you, for his you, message, did you are getting yourself busted but, again. So if Allah nope. already, he blessed Muhammad, what is the point of the angels and then the believers doing a blessing? If the guy is already blessed, for the extra blessings, like but the extra don't... blessing, what what will happen actually? It is like Muhammad, he will go beyond the heaven. I mean, okay, we no. keep sending a blessing for him from now until the coming billion year. Okay, and what will happen to Muhammad then? He's going to be and... higher than Allah. No, no, not not only that. Uh -huh. not only that. Tell me. And of course, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He has the highest, 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 uh, highest rank in paradise. He's mm. in Jannah for those. That's obvious. But okay. Also, we get rewards for saying it because it's an order, and we say it. Uh, and it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense or not. That's it's Allah's not knowledge. We don't we don't question that. Okay, okay. So you Muslims, you changed changed the word salah from pray into blessing. No, and now what we have, and now what we have, we have two it's gods. Arab. We have two gods. Listen carefully. We have two gods. One, his name is Allah, and the other one is angels. Because the line says it clearly. It doesn't say, and Allah he sent the blessing to the angels, and the angels send it. Don't tell me this is obvious. This is what it says in the verse. It says here. Allah and his angels and the letter between them is wa wa which means they are equal if I say it's not true that's not true hold on <laughs> yeah, my friend you, you, <laughs> you know a little bit Arabic so we go with it Ana wa akhi. what does that mean me and my friend no Ana wa akhi. Ana, uh, me and my brother uh, yeah and, uh, brother yes, okay. yes yes so when I say Ana wa akhi, the habna it's mean me and my brother we went when I yes. say Ana wa akhi sallayna, that's mean me and my brother, we pray, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's mean we are doing equal work, and this is what the verse using Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Not only they send the blessing, they are praying continue 
non-stop, correct? Uh, yeah, no, okay. not non-stop. It says non-stop, like, it says you saw Luna, you saw Luna is a continue yeah, verb. Yes. Okay, yes. so this is the continue verb, says you saw Luna, which means non-stop, Allah and the angels, they, the whole day. We pray on not, Muhammad, not, we pray on Muhammad, Muhammad, we pray on Muhammad, we pray on Muhammad. You saw Luna ala nabi Okay, hold on. Who is the one is talking in this verse? Uh, like the Quran, the Quran is the words of Allah. Okay, but who is talking? It's Allah. Okay, why Allah saying Allah and his angels if Allah is talking? Because it, it's the Quran. Allah can say anything he wants. What's wrong with that? Okay, hold on. Allah, okay, yeah, hold on. Think, so. so I can say now Christian prince and the angels praying on Muhammad, but I am yes, a Christian it, prince. Yes, you can. That's not since nothing when, wrong with that. Since when? And if I am the one is talking, I don't say I don't say my name because I am the one is talking. Yeah. You should say I and my angels pray on Allah. This is an error in the Quran. The one who wrote the that's Quran, not, he forgot to switch. It's not an error. You can also say Christian prince. If I'm Christian prince, I say Christian prince and the angels do that. That's possible. You can say that. But if you are the one, you, you can say the name of the person. If you are talking about a person, if you are the Which one is talking. You can also say that, that, that no, nothing wrong with that. It's, okay. You can also say, hold me. on, hold on. Uh, I, I, okay, sorry. guys, I. okay, okay. Uh, uh, you can say that, and I want to ask you a very simple question. Yes. When Allah, he made this verse, did he made Muhammad the center of the whole world? What do you mean? Okay, I will draw something for you in the screen, and I want you to focus with me, please. Okay, because well, now, no. because now, just be sure that the screen, the YouTube is a mute, please, so you don't have double voice. Yes. All right. So, so now what we will have, uh, and this is here, Muhammad in the middle. And in the side of the, this is the square or a circle. And in the side of this thing, we have Allah, the angels, the people. All of them, they are sending a blessing on Muhammad. Do you agree on that? Oh, it's not loading for me yet. It's, uh, I have a delay. <laughs> Um, you see it now? No, but you can't. You can't put it like that. Why not? I, I, because it's it. It looks like you are saying so. What? What do you? Okay, wait. Uh, tell me what. What? What do you mean with this? What, what do you What do you mean? That, this what the, uh, what, is what you told me. You told me that Allah, but it doesn't the, mean he's a and the angels, and the people, all of they are sending blessing on Muhammad, correct? Yes, but through through Allah, through Allah, they say Allahumma salli alaihi wasallam. Allah, not through Allah, through the pipe, through the cable, through the internet. Who care? Who is the one became the center of the whole world? The people forget about Allah now because everybody, Allah and the angels and Muhammad no. and, the, and the people, they are saying one name. Allah bless Allah Muhammad, please Allah bless Muhammad, bless Muhammad Allah. And Allah is busy because now there is a more than a billion Muslims. They are sending a blessing to Allah according to you. And Allah, he have to send it back by me. That's not, that's not, that, that, that like Allah can do that all day. It's nothing for him. What do you mean nothing for him? If it's nothing for him, if Allah blessed him already, why you want to keep blessing him forever? Why not? If I am blessed, if I'm blessed for a second, my friend, just God, he said, bless you, I'm blessed. That's it. There's no need for more blessing. What, 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 what does that mean? I mean, is that gold and silver? Is that money? No. He can he can bless you all the way as long as he wants. And the drawing makes no sense because you say now everyone blesses Muhammad, but it all goes through Allah. Where is going to say it all goes to Allah? Why are you making things up? The verse says, Inna Allah, okay, okay. Inna Allah, we, okay. Allah and his angels, and, and you know, uh, say, and, uh, praying on Muhammad. You must then, how, you, how, you, how, you fabricate how do we the, pray? the meaning, and you how, say suddenly, How do we pray on him? How do we send blessings to him? You tell me how you do. Allahumma salli. 
اللهم صل على محمد okay, what does that oh Allah send blessings okay, guys, upon so Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad what Allah he say you say you as a Muslim you say Allah pray on Muhammad Allah what Allah he say send when blessings, he's a blessing send blessings send blessings upon Muhammad yes okay what Allah he say when he bless Muhammad this do he say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad uh, no hopefully <laughs> why not? not why not I don't know what he says. Allah That's, no, no, that's no. not you something. See, uh, if Allah is Allah in the Quran saying Allah malaikatahu, so Allah He sent a blessing on Muhammad, okay, and the angels. Yes. Maybe Allah He say, uh, oh angels send a blessing on Muhammad. Did, did He say that Allah to the angel? No, He says in Allah wal malaikatahu yusallun ala nabi. Okay, when Allah He said to the to the human, pray on Muhammad. You say this is an order. It's an order. Okay. Do Allah, I, said, I told you. Okay. Uh, like, but if you read, if you read the first uh, a part of the of the uh, 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 of the verse, it says, "Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayyuha aladina amanu." So the first part, there's no order. Allah and the angels are praying on the Prophet. Why Allah? Blessings. Okay. How how come Allah and the angel automatically they are sending a blessing? And then the order come to the people to send the blessing I according just, to you. I just told you, Allah sends blessings, and the malaika through through the malaika, if he wants. What if he wants? He can also. Where are you getting? Wants, the, where where you are getting the word if he want? I mean, are you making things if up? Wants, if he wants. What do you mean if he want? Where it says that? That's 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 like the the knowledge of Allah. He can do anything. He can Quran, do it himself. Okay, what, why do you are, you, are you Muslim? Corrupt the Quran. So look what you did. You change the oh. word as a salah. Okay, Mimi Hijab, he says, pray for not to. Do you agree Allah with Allah that? Allah Okay, Mimi Hijab, in, in, his, in his funny debate with the David, what he said to him, <coughs> Allah, he was saying, pray for not to. Do you agree with that? Pray, yeah, pray for. Pray uh, for. Send blessings upon, send blessings upon, yeah. yeah. No, no, he said, pray for. I say, send blessings upon. But he said, pray for. Which one is the correct? Blessing or pray I, for? I, I, you can have different translation, but I, I think mine. The guy you speak Arabic is he translating his own uh, fiction or lying or what? He said to pray like for. You can, you can, you can uh, translate in multiple so, translations. So he was. I want a clear answer from you. He was right when he said pray for, for not to. He might be right. He might be right. I don't don't know. tell me he might but be. I, this is this is a, this is a, this is a sneaky answer. Either he's wrong no. and you are right because blessing and praying is different. He said to pray for him, and now you are saying. Send a blessing for him. Yes, I say send blessings for him. I think that's a more accurate translation. Okay, I don't so know Mimi Hijab translation. is a dumb. No, no problem. So listen. No, I don't so, say that. Okay, when Allah He blessed Muhammad, what yes. what will happen to Muhammad exactly after Allah and the angels and the believers and then blessing? What will he happen? get blessed? But he's already blessed, so he gets blessed, hmm. and the believers get more reward for blessing. Okay, what, will blessing what will happen to Muhammad? He is already blessed. Okay, the blessing you send does it go to Muhammad or goes to Allah? It goes to Muhammad. Yes. It, it goes to who? To you, Muhammad or to Allah? Muhammad. So who is God? Allah. So why the blessing is going to? No, I'm saying the, Allah doesn't the, us. Allah doesn't need the blessing. No, no, no. This is not the question. You are not listening. Okay. So if I say a prayer. The, my prayer go to the God or to the Prophet? Your prayers? Yes. Like, what do you mean? Like, you dua? Isn't you who said to me that the, 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 the Muslim, they say, Oh Allah, bless Muhammad? Yeah, bless, okay. yes. That sentence... The blessings, so the blessings, okay. the blessings, the blessings okay. go to Muhammad. No, no, no that's another question. Listen carefully. What's... When you say, Oh Allah, bless Muhammad, that sentence goes to Allah or to Muhammad? The sentence, like the sentence itself. Yes. Uh, Muhammad can't hear it. He's he's uh, he's dead. Allah, Allah. Uh, so it. Muhammad, he cannot hear it. If somebody says he can but, hear it, he's a liar. No, the prophet said the prophets are alive in the in the grave. They but they. You said uh, the, the prophet Muhammad cannot hear it. No, they they he can he can get it through Allah. But he cannot hear it. No, he can hear this. The yani, not this full sentence, but he can hear the. Uh, he can hear okay. that there are. So is, the, is the prayer is coming to Allah or coming to Muhammad? I will repeat the question again. The the this, the blessings go to Muhammad. This is another question. You are repeating the same thing again. I'm asking you. When you say the Sorry, sentence, you say when you okay. say the sentence, Allah bless Muhammad, as you claim, does yes, that Allah sentence go to Allah or goes to Muhammad? 
the sentence goes to Allah okay. and the blessings go to Muhammad. Okay, but your prophet he said the opposite. He said that your prayer will be displayed in front of me. Read it. This is yeah, the, prayer, the, the blessings, yes. But That's you what just I told said. me that the prayer will go to Allah and not to Muhammad. No, I didn't say that. I, yeah. literally didn't. I, told, you, I told you the sentence goes to Allah okay. and the prayer goes Here to Muhammad. Here we go. He is saying the sentence will be displayed in front of me. Read it. doesn't say, this is not the blessing. It says, read carefully. It says, I don't see. okay, here we go. It says, among the, the most excellent of your days is a Friday. So invoke my many blessing on me. This is your translation, which the, in Arabic it says salat, not blessing, praying. It's on that salat. day, uh, for your blessing. blessing will be submitted to me. Yes, the okay. blessings, this is what I said. Okay, guys, in Arabic it says tu'radu alayya salatakum. Tu'rad, display in front of me. Yes, the blessings. Not not the, how you the can, sentence. How you can how you can how he can how he can see the blessing, how he can review it. Allah alam. What do you mean? Is that something physical? Allah knows it. Allah you, knows it. Do you think Allah when, knows okay when you ask Allah for a blessing, do Allah give Muhammad cheese, gold, silver, or something? Because how he can Allah how he can how Allah how you can display how you can display the prayer on the front it's of him. It's not something that we have to we have to care about. Uh, this something. is not something you care for. Okay, so so now, okay, you see here it says, they ask him, but prophet, you will be dead and you will, your body will be decaying. He says, the uh, the earth, uh, uh, Allah, he has a, uh, forbidden the earth from consuming uh, the body of the prophet. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Is it true that your prophet, when he died, he stink? What? Is it true that your prophet, when he died, stink? Uh, I don't know. Let us show the hadith. I, I think it does. It does, uh, right? I don't, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Guys, be my witness. Our friend here, thank you for saying the truth. Uh, the prophet, he stink when he die. But here in the hadith says that Allah, he forbid the earth from consuming the body of the prophet. So your prophet is a false prophet. No, it doesn't have to stink for it to decay. It doesn't have to uh, like be gone. If it stinks, my, that's, my that's friend, like, you, st you stink only if your body is decaying. That's not true. Who? Like what? <laughs> but the, gas, the gases that go out, bro. Didn't you take biology? Okay. No, I, I took biology, but not Islamic biology. Your biology. Hold yeah, on. So what is it's the reason? Good. What is the reason for the body to stink? For gases to go come out. The gas stink. The body, the body. The body. Okay. What, yes. Okay. What about yes. his his nails became a green and blue? What? What? What about his nails? What about his nails and uh, you know even his fingers, they sh you know they shrink and his nails became a grew and his belly became. Was big. was it before? Was it before he, he was buried or after he was buried? Before and uh, before uh, hadith, for sure you know the hadith, this, they, they did not they did not, bury him. The they earth, did not bury him the for earth. three days. They did Allah not bury him. The earth from consuming. Doesn't matter, the earth. you know, if they leave you it in the does. top of the earth, my friend. If they leave you in the top of the earth and in, in the bottom of the earth, it's the same. The earth, this is the earth. We, we are in the earth. We are not flying in the sky. And because they become blue, they are consumed? No. So you are saying that your prophet, he stink, not because his body was decaying. What is the purpose? What was the reason? Because the gas has left his body. That's a natural, natural thing that so you, happen. So you are saying your prophet was farting. And because of the fart of him when he is not fart, it doesn't mean fart. It can come out of mouth. It can come like out, out of any place. Okay. So what is inside the, your prophet? It's normal human being. He's okay. He's normal human. What does that mean? But if, if no, he is not normal human being because he said that Allah he forbidden the earth from consuming the body of the prophet. Yes, but he's he's like a normal human being. But yeah, not only him. Also, Omar ibn Khattab, he was, he was not decayed. Oh, really? One, hundreds, hundreds of years <laughs> after the True death. story. This is a true story. So, your yeah, prophet, he, your prophet he stink after three days, after the, the first day, actually. And Omar ibn Khattab, he did not for a uh, hundred years? He did. He, he might have stinked. Okay, the where, 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 he, where, his okay, body where do you have him? Do you have him in the museum somewhere so we can see? He's, he's in the grave. In the grave. How do you no, know then he did my, not stink? Why do we want to? We don't want that. 
That's obvious. Okay, so listen, when you're a prophet, he said that Allah, he forbid our body, or the, or the earth from consuming our body. What does this have to the, do with submitting the prayer for him? Is he dead or not? He's alive in the Ard Barzakh. <laughs> what a life in the barza is it you, you okay so the quran lie when you say that you die no okay so when the quran says inna kamayyat wa innahum mayyitun you are yes. dead and they are dead correct yes, but prophets are alive in the grave that that's his hadith so allah did lie because if 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 allah he says and you are no. dead and you they don't, are you don't dead. have the you don't have the understanding to understand such a thing. It is in the worldly life they are there. In Dar al Barzakh, they are alive. That's the hadith. What Barzakh? Hold on, you see? When Allah he says you between the you don't know that oh you don't know that. Between the worldly life and the hereafter you no, have done. We know about that, but this is okay, why, for now. Just leave it for now. This is a, this is a silly thing you are saying. Okay, hold on. You wanna talk about the Barzakh? Are you sure? Why not? Okay, tell me about the barzakh. Go ahead. It's it. I just told you it's a place between uh, the the this this life okay. where we're in right now and the hereafter the you know, the day of uh, resurrection. Hmm. Where we can find that? What this this uh, what I just said? Yeah, no. Where we can find the 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 statement in the Quran? The barzakh. Yeah. It's in Hadith, I think. No, it's in the Quran. Oh no, can you show me? Yeah, chapter 23, verse 100. I, I think it's the wrong one. It's what? It's not about Dar al Barzakh. Yeah, this is about the Barzakh. Tell me about it. It's in the Quran, as you see. It doesn't say Barzakh. It says Barzakh. Oh, it's, it's uh, yeah, yeah, wait, I see it. I was the wrong one. Hmm. Yes, okay. what's wrong? Tell me about the Barzakh. I just said. What 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 is the Barzakh? What will happen there? It's the, the punishment of the grave is there. That's okay. one thing, or 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 not depends on if you was righteous or not. Hmm. So in the Barzakh, all uh, all Muslims are alive, or only Muhammad? Not, no, the prophets and the shuhada. Speak in English. Uh, and the uh, and the marches. Okay, so what we they will be they will what we will be doing there in this Barzakh? Where is? What is that exactly? What will happen? You are dead now. So do you have a do you have your body still a body or it's the dust? Me hang up. <laughs> you don't know even where <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> What a religion. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, guys, he will be he will be in the barzakh. Eh? What he will be doing in the barzakh? The Quran says you are dead and they are dead. So this 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 is death is a lie then. Because if you are alive, if you are alive in the grave, then there is no death. And the Quran is, is a stupid book. Christian Prince. Yes. Hello, brother uh, Abdul Wahid. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, remind me of yourself. Are you an expert? Yes, are you fine, fine. Uh, can I uh, have a one question for you? You are a Muslim or not? Before I talk to you, remember. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. You know, there's too many people call me, as you know. There's, it's impossible uh, yeah, for yeah, me yeah. to know. But you are in my heart. How can you forget me? Well, I sorry, you know, like uh, there's tens of thousands texting me in this. Yes, yes so. I I do believe I do believe everything which you saying. That is a no no problem. But the question is what I want to say in question about in my mind, and I try to write on. You know, my English is not good. Okay. But the question is a uh, 
if uh, you believe um, Jesus, uh, peace be upon God, and uh, and Jesus uh, crucified on the um, uh, crucified, mm. but how could possible? In, in I couldn't understand. But he is a for all mankind, and God is crucified for the people. So God give forgive the sins without crucifies as well. So why not God uh, uh, forgive the people without crucify if the Jesus crucified? And uh, this is a in my my mind is a not clarify. He is a crucified and after three day he uh, raised uh, again. Mm. And this is the question. Okay, see the the crucifixion. It's you know like this is what Jesus did to us. Like you have somebody he loves you very much, and yeah. you have a fire in your house. God forbid, and then this person he jump inside the fire to save you, and he yeah. he die in the fire just to save you. He was out. You know he's not in the fire. He had nothing to do with the fire. So what we as a Christians we uh, we believe that Jesus because of his love he died in the cross. He don't have to. So when we say that we believe in the cross, it's part of what he did. So we believe in everything he did, not only the cross. We believe he came, we believe he teach, we believe he did miracles. If we believe in him, whatever he did, including the cross, and we ask for redemption, we will be saved. So it's not what people think or say, oh, Jesus, he have to die in the cross. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, uh, God will not forgive us. No, this is not, not really what God, he said. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. For he loved the world. Not because he have to. Not he have to, to come. He have no, He don't have to come. He don't have to die. He don't have to suffer. He don't have to do teach. He don't have to do anything. But because he loved us. You remember last time I spoke to you? I remember I said to you, the, the, the fingerprint of God is love. Yeah. Okay. That is the fingerprint of Jesus. So because he loves you, he is willing to come. He knew what he would do, they, what they would do to, the, to him. Even in the cross, he says, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. But doesn't mean they are forgiven for all their sin. Doesn't mean they will go to heaven. He forgive them for that thing based on love. But time will come and judgment day will come. And Jesus, he will say, bring them in front of me. Those who? All of us. All of us. All mankind. Those who believe in him, they will be saved. And those who will not, they will be sent to hellfire. So Jesus is love. As long as you appreciate love and you are part of it. If you don't want to be a person who love what, what Jesus offer and the love of Jesus, well, obviously you are in the other side and you choose your own way. So it's mistakenly people, they say, as you said, well, do God need to send the son to forgive? No, it's not about he need. It's you who need. God, he offer you salvation by saying, okay, whoever believe in my son, I will give you a chance. Whoever believe in my son who is coming to rescue you, he is going to be saved. So it's your choice to accept or to refuse. No, that, that's all right. No, uh, uh, this is a, uh, I am not understand. I told you my friend, they are, he's a pastor and his wife is a, they are coming on 8 November my home. I will discuss my friend, with my friend, them. My friend, this is the, the question I, you gave me an answer. You give me the question straight. Don't tell me about family and friends. Et this is yeah. the question. Did, did you get the answer no. or not? Yeah, no, no. This is a not clarified. That's why I'm saying God can forgive uh, without any uh, any condition because he's a God. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Uh, because why I want to forgive you if you are not doing what I ask you to do. There's conditions always. This is this is not true. This is false argument. Even God, when he created Adam and Eve, he gave them yeah. a condition. Don't disobey me here. All right. Yeah. So if you yeah. disobey him, it's your choice. So in order yeah. to go back to him, you have to accept that he is the one who have authority over you. So either you accept his authority and then you ask for forgiveness and then he forgive you based in love. Or you don't want his authority, so what are you? What's your problem? For go free, you are free. Go, don't believe in him. Be an atheist. No, 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 no. <clears throat> my question is what I am thinking. This is my question. I am thinking this way, which I tell you. I want to clarify myself, and you can like uh, clear. Go to the question, please. Don't give me uh, that presentation. Give me, give me the answer. What do you want to say? 
no that is why I, how how god has a power what he can to do uh, god can do this is not god, this is this is not an argument my friend i i told you if you want to go inside my house you yeah. have to get my permission to yeah. get in correct true in order to get inside my house you have to be clean so yes. if you cannot be clean you have no place in my house so you are saying to me i want to be dirty i want to get inside your house i say no so you are be, this is a childish argument my friend with my respect to you i'm not trying to insult you so if somebody you know like me my, myself i will never allow somebody to enter my house wearing his shoes never doesn't matter who big old small doesn't matter he have to take his shoes off so if you don't like it don't enter my house because i will not let you so the house of god is a holy house in order to be in the holy house you have to have a qualification he created you not to be filthy you decide to be filthy so you are saying to me well i want to be filthy why god cannot forgive me without being filthy this is not a condition you put in god this is why he is god and you are not well if you do not need him don't be be whatever you want don't ask him for forgiveness all right anyway i have to take more calls because I, I, like i remember you you just uh, telling me my friends and my families and somebody told me and etc this is not this is not a conversation the rule is very simple my house is holy and your faith is not welcome so whoever want to enter the house of god he have to clean himself from his faith he have to redeem himself he have to ask for forgiveness and he you know, he need to ask for help. Jesus said, I am the door, knock and I will open for you. So what you are saying to me, you want God to open the door for you without even you knocking. You remind me of a bunch of Middle Eastern. They are so lazy. They want to commit suicide. They rented a ship to, they said the easiest way maybe to be drawn. You know, they rented a ship and the guy, he took him in the middle of the ocean. He said, okay, guys, you want to commit suicide? Okay, jump in the water. They said, can't you make a hole in the ship? Because they are so lazy to stand and jump. This is you. You want God to do everything for you. Why God? He is all uh, powerful. Why he God don't uh, forgive us? So why he will forgive you? Give him a reason. Let us see Abdul. Hello? Yes, Mr. Mansour. Oh, how are you? I'm fine. Did you hear the conversation? Yeah, sure, I heard. And do you see the title Would of my did you see the title of my video? The title of your video? No, no, no. I was Yeah, it says show uh, me. Uh, wait, that, there's there's a guy, one. there's a guy, he okay. don't speak Arabic. He says, Show me one error in the Quran and I will mm. leave Islam. Okay. How about the Bible? Well, our topic is the why why Muslims are like are you Muslims ashamed of the Quran? Why you are ashamed of Bible? Okay, let us say uh, okay. Do you want to talk about the Bible? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, the is, is the Bible have errors? A lot of errors. Okay, so how your how your funny prophet and God says I I agree with what you have between your hands. Okay, who is Melchizedek? Don't don't answer. Don't 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 jump. I'm asking you. You're not giving me time. I'm okay. asking you, who is Melchizedek? Hold on. How come? Hebrews. How come? Hebrews. How Hebrews come? Seven, seven, you're just making okay, drama. I will tell you Don't who is Melchizedek. But no problem. But now you answer me. If the Quran, if the Bible is full of errors and everybody heard you, you cannot take it back. Mm -hmm. So how you okay. say Where the is Quran, Trinity? How, Where is Trinity? How you the say the Quran? Don't change the topic. How you say the Quran says I agree. Where is Trinity? Don't Where change, is the Trinity? Don't, three three, do, three okay. gods. Okay. Where is three gods? You talk like a turtle. Three do you, gods. Do you want to talk like an adult or like a kid? Can, can you debate me, CP? Um, can you debate asking, me with the three gods? Are. So the Bible. Can you have, debate me? The, you are the one who can said the Bible. Can you debate me? I'm ready. People must must know. Just get stupid, idiot, son of muta. You don't want to talk about it. If you stupid idiot, you confirm that the Bible is full of error and everybody heard you, then how your stupid Quran says confirming what is with them? Who is the stupid here? Is the Quran confirming the errors with us who is Mulki Sadiq? What's wrong with Mulki Sadiq? He's a great man. 
When the Bible says, have no beginning, have no end, which means we do not, they don't know where he came from and where he left. That's all. He's a wonderful man who believes in God. Who is Melchizedek? Okay, let me ask you, who is Idris in the Quran? Tell me where he lived, Idris. <laughs> who is Saleh? <laughs> who is even Muhammad? Who is his father? The whole Quran never mentioned even Muhammad is, 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 is son of who? Who is Musa? Who is Israel? Stupidity is amazing. <clears throat> Let us see. <coughs> we just showed you a, a mistake in the Quran. Hello? 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 Yes, One my second. friend, you are live on air. Hi. Uh, are you a Muslim does first? Does Jesus have a... Are you a Muslim first? Yeah. yeah. Can you say yeah. Shahada first? Can you say the... Shahada? Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahdu la sharika la wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. What does that mean? Uh, it just means that I bear witness that there is no god but Allah and Muhammad is his uh, okay. messenger. Okay. Do Allah say Do Allah say shahada like you? I don't know. What do you mean? I'll... I'm who is the one who's supposed to say shahada? The one who convert to Islam or the one who is God? The shahada is for people who want to convert to Islam, but so perhaps how, so how Allah he said something else. Not so, my so how Allah said shahada then? <laughs> what do you mean? He can say anything he wants. What do you mean he can he say? If, if shahada deal. is to convert to Islam, how Allah says, I bear witness that there's no God but Allah. Buddy, you believe God can become a baby and get breastfed by a woman? How, okay, why we, can we can God go, not we say can the go, Okay, no problem. We, we, <laughs> we will talk about that and we will laugh together. Are you? Can are I you ask you a question? Okay, you can you ask think me. What kind of God? Okay. He's a shahada. He's saying he's Allah witnessing to who? <laughs> Bro, you just love to play words with. You love to play games with words. I am not. He can it say says what here that Allah shahid Allah wa anna la ilaha illa huwa. وَالْمَلَائِكَةَ وَأُولُوا الْعِلْمِ قَائِمًا بِالْقِسْطِ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Who is talking? Allah is saying shahada. Yeah, what's the problem with that? I don't okay. see the problem. So, uh, what He's do you bearing mean the witness problem? that there's, there's no, no God, God but He. Allah. Okay, Allah is saying there's no yeah. God but He. He who? Who is talking? Allah. Who is He? Yeah, there's no problem with that. It's a deficiency in your thinking. Oh, it's deficiency yeah, I know it's in my thinking. Because English so isn't your I first say, language, bro. If I, if I am God and I say there's no God but He, isn't it obvious I'm talking about other God? No, because He said there's, the only God is Allah and His name is Allah. Where it says that? He's talking about where, where He's talking about where it says, where it says okay, where, where it says, where it says the only God is Allah in the verse. Can you show me? Say the verse again. Where in the verse it says there's no God but Allah. Yeah, I need you to say it because I haven't memorized the Quran. Oh, you so, do not. Yeah. But you memorized that Jesus was a baby. Well, I mean, it's your belief, isn't it? It's quite okay. ridiculous. Okay, tell me Can about I ask Jesus. You a okay, you, okay, go yeah, ask me a question about uh, Jesus. Go ahead. Okay. So, did Jesus have a brother or not? Jesus have a brother or not? Well, Jesus, he called yeah. all the disciples his brothers. Okay, so did he have a biological brother or not? Doesn't doesn't change anything. So how many sons does God have? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's, that's a, okay, guys. How many sons God have? I will ask you, I will answer from the Quran. The Quran says there's only one person, Mary, she gave birth to. His name is Jesus. Bro, I'm asking so hold you a on, question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the Quran. The Everybody's laughing at you now. Wait, let me now finish just, my question. Let me now, finish my question. I know now, you're scared. No, no, I know no, you're scared. You see, Abdul, Abdul. In Psalms 2 7, Abdul, it says Abdul, about David, Abdul, Abdul, I will Abdul, proclaim Abdul. the Lord's degree. He said to me, You are my okay, son. Okay, Today okay, I have become your father. Okay, okay. So, how many begotten sons does Allah have? Okay, brother. Okay, brother. So, according to the Quran, there's only one Jesus. He is the only one, the son of Mary. Did your Quran make a mistake? Pardon, say that again, sorry. You are not listening. Listen carefully. When your Quran yeah. says that Mary, she have only one son, did Allah make a mistake? 
No, I'm telling you that you believe that. So uh, based in your that, religion, David, based in your religion, you, you got yourself busted. Based in your religion, there's only one son of God. That is the son of Mary. That is Jesus. So you are being stupid. Bro, are you okay? Secondly, secondly bro, why, the, why, the Quran, why the Quran says that Jesus? It literally says why, that Allah does not forget any children. Adore, adore. You just love to play with words. Wallah, you're actually okay. a joke. Your really, channel's a guys, joke, brother. Guys, I play with the word. I, I, I'm wrong. Guys, go that. watch Farid respond. That, does he debunks all Quran. of this guy's does argument. This guy's a joke. Does it say in the Quran? <laughs> bro, go in the Bible. Is, see, here Psalms wanna, two you, seven. Palms two seven. You believe God has more than one son? Come on, bro. Come on, man. What is this? Okay, okay. No, first of all, fix up your religion, bro. First of all, Abdul, there is only one person is born. My name is Yusuf. My name is Yusuf. Your name is Abdul, and you are no one, and you are a coward. You will not listen carefully. Abdullah, I'm an Abdullah. In the Quran, in the Quran, and in the Bible, there is only one person. There is only one person in the Quran and in the Bible. His name is Jesus. Is born of a virgin. Do you agree with that? Actually, there was more people who were born without parents, but yeah. That's another you know, question. You, actually, see, you are being stupid now. Born without parents? What that have to do with the question? I'm saying born of a virgin. Yeah, sure. Jesus was born of a virgin. Okay, if there is anything. anyone in the world besides Jesus is born of a virgin. Okay, now look at your logic. You're going to try to say that. Don't God change the question. Don't, don't change the question. Does God have sperm? Bro, does God have sperm? Don't change the question. Okay, there's... answer my question. Does God have sperm? Abdul, 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 Abdul. If there is any person... Do you do because you can't answer, any, bro. If there is any person besides Jesus is born of a virgin. Nah. But that doesn't matter. Thank like, you. It's no, a miracle. it does matter because that is only one. Bro, is a son Moses of God. split the sea. Why Jesus was born, born to a virgin, virgin mother. It's Why a miracle. Why like, a virgin? Try to twist he it. Is the only one is the son of God. So we got you busted. Now we need to ask you a very simple question. Also, Why God has sperm to you now. Okay. Why I, only he has Jesus God DNA. Yeah? Stop talking. We That's why talk he died on the time. cross. We cannot talk in the same time, please. So, why only Jesus is born of a virgin in Islam? Because that's one of his miracles. What does that mean? What what kind of miracle is that? What for? It's to show that he's a special child. That's why when they asked, he, in did the you say Quran, he is a special child? Him. Did you, did you see he is a special child? Yeah, he's a prophet. Every prophet is special. Okay, what is special about Jesus, and what's special about Muhammad? Well, Jesus had miracles such as being born of a virgin mother, and Muhammad had miracles such as splitting the moon. Okay, I challenge you in front of everybody to show me the miracle that Muhammad split the moon. If you can show it to me, it's I will in... shave my 20 foot beard right now. Well, I mean, it's in hadith and the moon clearly goes ah, put back together. So, in the hadith, so in the Quran, doesn't say, bro, Muhammad you split know, the moon. you know what okay. you're saying. So, to hold me, on, I can say so are you, you saying to okay, me, show me where Moses you, split you, the sea, bro? Show me where Moses split the sea. In the Quran, it says that the, the Red Sea isn't Abdul, split, bro, Abdul, it's still see, together. How come your Quran never mentioned anything about Muhammad? He did. In the same time, as you yeah, say, as yeah, you it say, said the moon has said, been, been split asunder, so the um, day of judgment is close. So listen, listen, listen. So Jesus, what is, what additional to Jesus is born in the in, in the in the uh, without a father? What what that will do to Jesus? It's just a miracle, bro. You know what? He why, actually why, had why? a father, why, but not why, 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 why this miracle happened? What is the purpose of it? I, your mother, my mother, bro. I, I already told mother, you to show that he's a prophet. Like, no, you keep that will not show question. anything about prophecy because simply, yeah, it will. Because when she pointed to Jesus in the cradle, he started talking, saying, I'm a prophet. That's wow, why they were so guys, confused. Jesus, he spoke and he said, I'm a prophet when he was what, what was his age? He was young, I don't know how it was. His age exactly when, when was, they he was young in the cradle. When they old. In the cradle, bro. Yeah, I don't know how old. old. One, one hour old. I don't right know. Away. Don't put the... Bro, okay, hold don't on, assert guys. these numbers. So Muhammad don't make this drama an argument. Hold on. <laughs> Muhammad took him 40 years to become a prophet. Jesus is born as a prophet. Who taught him to be a prophet before he was born? Well, every single prophet is a prophet. It just depends on the time that they receive revelation. And it doesn't matter. Like, him speaking, saying, I'm a prophet as soon as he's born does not change anything. And if he was God, he wouldn't say that. He would okay, say, I am God, so, and now my mother's going to breastfeed me. Okay, hold on. Listen. So Jesus, now, gonna die Jesus is doing breastfeeding. Can you show me the verse? Because you just said that he spoke. He said, I'm a prophet. Obviously, this, this person is a growing person. He says, I am a prophet, and he spoke as a prophet. Now, you're a prophet after 40 years of being a man. Did he 
even become a prophet right away or he needs some Bro, you, you know what's the flow you know what's the flow of the argument in the bible itself like moses it took him time to become a prophet as well until he saw the burning bush so like okay. what do you, Muhammad, you're literally what just do, you're singing Muhammad, it out because it's Muhammad. no it did not take him did not take him did not take him many time to become a prophet because if god he chooses to be a prophet you will become a prophet when you deliver a message. Oh, okay. So, same thing from so now, so now, so now hold on. Okay. So Allah, which is why okay. I said you don't know. Okay. What? What was? Oh. Was Muhammad believer in Allah? Yeah. What? Where, how? How you can prove it to me? I mean, he went to the cave to pray for however long before he received wahi. Where it says that he is went to the grave uh, to the to the cave to cave pray. cave cave. Uh -huh. It's, yeah. it's in it's in hadith, I believe. Uh, so I mean, everything in, is in the hadith. In we, everything is in the hadith. We cannot find anything in the Quran. Bro, do you know what's funny? Our weakest hadith is more stronger and reliable than your best Bible verse. Okay, That's what's so, funny, and so, you're trying so to criticize why, so the hadith. So why Allah? So why Allah? He says, "I confirm what is with them." The, speaking about the Christians. Did Allah made a mistake? He's talking about the original Injil, not the ones no, that you've no, corrupted. No, he says, "What is between their hands?" Yes, the original Injil between the what? original so Christian. So, are you times. saying that the Christian at that time who worshipped Jesus, they have the no? The, the, the original Christians did not worship Jesus. Paul came along and Paul started Abdul, Abdul. telling them okay. worship Jesus, when, guys, because I saw a vision. Okay, hold on, let me get you busted. You guys literally follow uh, you follow on, Paul, on, a guy who used to murder Christians. Uh, okay, really, really. listen, Abdul. So, we, 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 wanna, we don't want to <laughs> jump something important. You said that Muhammad was he went to pray in the cave. He was praying yeah. to who? To Allah, bro. Who else, man? Like, wait, what, you, what am I going to tell you? Like, what do you think? <laughs> okay, I'm asking you for the last time. What was the God name Allah Muhammad he mentioned when he prayed to him? Before I don't know. I wasn't that. Okay, was Muhammad was was Muhammad a believer? Uh, well, at the time of the cave, he was clearly praying to Allah. So no, no, this time, is not the question. Yes. I'm asking you. Okay, so he was a believer. Yes. So if yeah, I, I show you, if I show cave, you, I if I show you from the Quran that Muhammad he was a pagan from the Quran, what you would do? I mean, you're probably just gonna give me a verse that's been twisted, and you're gonna say no, yes or no, yes or no. Uh, uh, you see, uh, uh, the Muslim when they say you properly, you are going to give me a verse properly twisted. Right, properly. but you know what you do? You okay. leave out the tafsirs, you leave out all of the classical. Uh, hold on, hold on. You hold make on. your own okay, interpretation. Do you, okay, do you, do you accept tafsir? Let me ask bro. you: Do you accept tafsir? Yeah, but but not all of them. The one that have consent. Okay, hold on. You see, I don't believe the one with the ijma. Oh, okay. The one with the ijma. Okay, give me a give me a scholar. You agree with him that he is the one who can give you tafsir for the Quran? Every scholar, every single scholar makes mistakes. Only Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam does not make mistakes. So unless it's for the ijma, this is, not, this is not the question. Ijma, this is not the question. This is not the question. So are you saying to me that all your Muslim scholars cannot explain the Quran? No, they can all explain the Quran, but all of them will have some parts of it wrong. That is what I'm saying. Okay, but you just said Ijma. Every single scholar makes mistakes. But you said Ijma. You said Ijma. Isn't it your prophet? He yeah. says, my nation will not agree upon something wrong? Yes, which means that if there's a big uh, congregation agreeing on it, however, sometimes it can be the small congregation, but usually if it's the big congregation agreeing on a certain interpretation or meaning of something, then it's okay. the correct one. All right. Chapter 42, verse number 52, it says that Muhammad, he have no idea what is God, what is belief, and what is the scriptures, and he was not a believer. In a similar way, we have revealed to you a spirit. Let me read it one second. Spirit of Allah. Yeah, in a similar way, we have revealed to you a spirit from our command. You did not know earlier what was the book, a.k.a. you did not know what the Quran was, or what the true Iman was, mm -hmm. a.k.a. what the true religion was, in the okay. sense that how to worship Allah. Okay. But we made it, the Quran, a light for which we guide whomsoever we will from among our servants, and indeed, you are guiding to a straight path. That mm -hmm. doesn't... That means... He could have still been believing in Allah, but he doesn't know the straight way. Did Is he? it you? Because he wouldn't know. He wouldn't know about how to fast. He wouldn't know about oh, okay. how to pray. Okay, hold on. How to fast? Well, it says it says that you know nothing 
about revelation, correct? Let me double check. No, it didn't say nothing. It says you just didn't know what the book is and you didn't know the faith. So what does that mean? That means you didn't know. So when you say when I say to you you do not know, when I say to you you do not know, is that saying I is that saying I you you know some? I said you don't know. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you do not know. You could know some, but he so did why not, Allah didn't the, say you do not you know, know? You know what the difference is? Okay. No, do, Are you, you know saying the, the Quran? Are you saying your God he made a mistake when he says you know not what is books and you know not what is faith? No, the mistake is with the way you're looking at it because let me tell you what you're trying to do. You are twisting it. It says you did not know what the book is. Mm. The book meaning the Quran. He did not know any of the verses uh -huh. and you did not know the faith. Is, the, is, is the, the word faith? Quran is the there? Is the word Quran is there? Yes, he did not know what the Where Quran is. Where is the word was Quran? Why are you are adding the word Quran? Hello? Why are you Muslims are fabricating? Do you add words it's to the Quran? No, 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 no. no okay. The word is not Quran, but the word is Al Kitab. Okay, what uh, Al Kitab? Book, what Al Kitab? What Al Kitab? The book, the book. Okay, what Al Kitab? Kitab. Isn't it the it means Quran? Book. Isn't it the Quran says people of the Yeah, book? that's what that's what I'm saying. He didn't know the book before. He didn't know hold the on. Quran. Hold on, yes, hold on. When the Quran says Ahlul Kitab, he means the Christian and the Jews, correct? But you're going to try to make this seem as if it's talking about the Bible or something. Even if we're talking about the Bible, it's completely fine. Because he, if he, in fact, that supports my argument. Because if he did not know about the Bible before, how could he have plagiarized anything? Thank you very much. Guys, he just said Muhammad, Yo, he, knew nothing. Hold on, hold on. He, he just said that <laughs> Muhammad, he know nothing about the Bible. He know nothing about any scriptures. And no, then, that's, and not bro, only that, that's your interpretation. And, no, you just told me that. You just said it. You just told me that. I okay. said you're going to try to twist it. To okay, say you didn't I, know anything about say, the Bible. I want you to twist it, not me. I want you to help me. So when the Quran you says, when you the Quran says, when the Quran says, you know not what is faith, you know not what is faith. What was the faith of Muhammad at that time? Fair, okay, so Iman, what is Iman in Islam? Faith. Iman consists of many pillars. For example, believing in the angels. Believing in the previous books, etc. Mm. We know he believed in one God, Allah, but that is just a part of faith. He did not know the full faith, did he? He didn't so know he how what? He, he, knew, he, didn't know. He, he knew only the, about the, the shin of Allah. Guys, he did not know the full faith. He has some faith. What faith? It says he, it he says knew, you know he knew that Allah is it one says, and that he wasn't a baby and by his mother, you, and he didn't you, die on a cross. A, you are a scammer. Everybody is laughing at you. It says, You know not. He did not say you did not know some. He didn't say, you know, only few. Brother, Muslims brother, is that's to not what I'm arguing stupidity. about. That's so, not what I'm so arguing about. So look what about. happened yes, now. Let's you go did, let us you go back You did not to know the faith. Adul. You did not know the faith. Okay, you did not what know is what the, the faith. faith. So um, Muhammad, okay. Can, but was can you Muhammad give me one second, Abraham? please? Was Muhammad, following did, was Muhammad following Abraham according to you Muslims? I don't know about that. What do you mean? Don't you call him Abrahamic? You say Islamic is Islam is Abrahamic religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, right now, right now, he is following Abraham. But before Islam, I do not know if he be believed witness, Abraham guys. to be a true God or not. Witness. I mean, to be a be true prophet. Be my witness. He just said before that day, he did not know if he was following. No, Abraham no. I said or not. I don't know. I don't twist my words. Don't twist my words. I said I don't said know that. if he knew. Okay. I so, said I don't know. So let, 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 said, let's let's go back know. to zero. Let's go you, back to zero. Uh, let me let me help you. I will help you. I will give you escape. Jesus is born in the cradle. He says, I am a prophet. Muhammad is 40 years old man. Still, he have no faith. He know nothing about scripture. No, he did he have it. I told you God. he believed in Allah. I told you. He when it says Allah. that, you are a liar. Read the verse with me. It says in the front of you. It says, you know. Okay, not. so what why, why was he in the cave worshiping Allah then? So how does this that make sense? This is a fabrication. Sense? Are you against, are you against the Quran it's, now? It's are not, you, are you saying, are you saying the Quran making a lie that Muhammad, he know nothing about God. He know if, nothing about faith. He know nothing about the scriptures. Does it say that or I'm making things up? Okay, if you're a fair person right now, if give me 20 seconds to tell you. You give me 20 seconds, yeah? Go ahead, I will give you, go ahead. Okay, go, all right. I am not arguing about you. I'm not arguing with you about, and he did not know the faith. I'm not arguing about, and not. I'm arguing with you about the word faith. He did not know the faith. Hmm. Yes, he did not know the faith. But what does that mean? That doesn't mean he did not know the belief in one God. That just means that he did not know the full faith. So he was believing in something wrong before? No, he was believing in a part of it. He was believing well, that there is only one because... God. But he didn't, he didn't know that God has angels who 
do certain things for him. He didn't know ah, all the specifics. Guys, he did not know that Allah have angels. Uh -huh. No, no, no he knew. He, he might have knew that he had angels, but not the specifics. Ah, you get me? Like, uh, not specific. Like the uh -huh. Not specific. Okay, exactly. I will go with you. So, uh, Muhammad, that's me. Uh, Muhammad, he has zero knowledge about this God, correct? Because you just no, said no, he I don't say that. You keep twisting it, bro. It's I you, said it's you who said you, that. He, it is you who no, said. I it said, is you who said you do not know why he has angels. I said maybe something like 40% he knew. Something like that. Okay, he didn't guys, know everything. Guys, but Muhammad told, went, but then when it was Muhammad revealed, went to school. Hold on. Everything. You just said 40%. Muhammad, he went to school. Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. Mr. Perhaps. Muhammad, he went to school. And this is the guy. He is his teacher. He gave him 40% grade in his exam. He asked him, who is Allah? Wrong no, answer. it's not because of that. Faith? It's because he, so he knew Muhammad, that there was only, only one God and that the people worshipping idols were wrong. Out. That's what he knew. What, what, and then after the angel Jibreel say, came to him and on. told him revelation, that's when he figured out what, everything else. Abdul, what you just said is amazing. You just said that Muhammad properly he knew 40%. And this is perhaps, according to you, perhaps. So yeah, it's because perhaps, he knew that there was one God only, so but he perhaps, did not know it's perhaps, that there were perhaps, things such it, as fasting within Ramadan, it's, such as not eating okay. pork. As long but as after the angel Jibreel came to him, that's when he figured out the rest of it. Okay, that is the whole guys, argument. He, now, now he and what you are saying right now is you're Jibreel, just saying with one which is what him, Christian he figured out the rest of it. Abdul, listen. Worshipping Allah is the main purpose of Islam, correct? Yeah. So why he's saying you have no faith? But that doesn't mean you. Ha he didn't say you have no faith. He sa he said you have no faith. But that doesn't mean that's the whole faith. The whole faith isn't just worshiping Allah. Because if that was the case, then the Jews would also be Muslims. But they aren't. Why? Because they denied the Messiah and they denied the Prophet. If you deny any of the prophets, you have Abdul. committed kufr. So so that is the whole faith. Okay. So guys, the whole faith and the part of the faith. But the Quran says you have no faith. He didn't say you have little faith. Some yeah, faith. but. Yeah, because the denying, not knowing about any of the prophets, denying the prophets is kufr. But the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he had faith. He had, he so had I believe you, in one God. I but that was, that was before Muhammad faith. became a prophet, what he was, his religion. You could not answer. He was a, he was, he was a Han Hanafi. He was a monotheist. Thank you. Hanafi, that's mean. He had faith. So the Quran is wrong. This is, a, this is an error. No, no, no. Because the Quran is saying you did not have faith of what they brought down. Did he know about fasting? Did he? Tell me. Did he what know about, about this? Do he have faith in because God that, or that's not? Part of the, My friend, did he, did he ha fasting, no, 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 that's not it, bro. That's fasting, not it. To have belief, you need to believe in the rules as well. Listen, fasting is not faith. Fasting, You're trying to twist it. You're trying to say that fasting, faith is fasting only believing is in God. Wait, let me ask you do? something. Can yeah, I be a Christian if I believe in, in God, but I don't believe in oh, Jesus? Nah, Can I be a Christian Abdul, if I believe in Abdul, God, Abdul, and I don't believe in Jesus? It says he have zero faith. No faith. He did not say he have some. So look what you did. You are the one who twist the verse, and you accuse me of a twisting. You have to add some. He knew few. He don't I never said some. No, he had. He did not have faith before this, but. And what is faith? Faith is the complete belief in God and his messengers uh -huh. and all the other things. Okay. However, so, he did believe in God, but he did not know about any of the other things. Okay. Is uh, Muhammad in the hadith, he kissed the black stone. Is that part of the faith? Muhammad, he have doing wrong? What? Yeah, kissing the black stone. Yeah. Is that what Allah it's a made? Of, it's, a form of, it's a form of ibadah, yeah. Okay. But Allah did not tell him kiss the black stone. But how do you know that? You tell me, show me. Did Allah tell him to kiss the black stone? Well, every well, we know in the Quran it says that the things that he says is not from his desires, it's from wahi, it's from revelation. So if he okay. did it, then clearly yes. it's from revelation. Every, everything he say is not from his desire. So what about the Quran saying that shaitan he threw in the desire of the Prophet? I what well, would where well, what was <clears throat> you do not know? You do not know this uh, shaitan no. verses? No, can you send me up? <clears throat> Here we go. Look at the screen. And I want you to read it. Uh, how do, I can't see your screen. One second. Hmm. Be rem remember, it's it's you who said, Muhammad, he said he speak nothing of his own desire. desire. The Quran says that Muhammad, he speak based on the desire of shaitan. I can't see your screen. Chapter 22, verse number 52. Chapter which one, sorry? 22 verse number 52 satanic verses 22 
Twenty-two fifty-two. Hmm. Okay, <clears throat> I need this. Some except that one. <clears throat> yeah. So and so and we did not send you a messenger before you, except that when you spoke, Shaitan threw into it some misunderstanding however Allah abolishes that which shaitan throws into it then Allah makes precise his verses and Allah is knowing and wise are you done yeah he is it you Allah who said, gets is, rid of is it you is it you it. who just said to me shaitan he throws some misunderstanding but it says Allah abolishes it focus with me focus with me Abdul Shaitan, I know I know you want to focus on the beginning Shaitan, of that verse Shaitan, because it is that's you the part said, that makes you happy. Let me but talk. I let you talk. Let me talk. Sadly, at the end of the verse, it says sadly, Allah abolishes what no Satan problem, Shaitan, guys. Allah will Shaitan abolish. Does. Allah will abolish. Take, take. You know, Allah will bring detergent. This is another question. Oh, hold on, me. Yeah. You just say this is your translation, not mine. You say it. Shaitan he throws some misunderstanding on the prophet. Mouth and yeah, okay. some mis some misunderstandings into the okay. How shaitan he can do that? How shaitan he can do that to a person? Is that by controlling him? No, it's, how? Well, I mean, actually, I don't, I don't know how exactly he would do it in this scenario, but he would do it somehow. I don't know the details behind it. You can't like ask me like it's like a science where I know like. Oh yeah, it's this much. Like well, what? Okay, you do not know science. Suddenly now it's about science, and a, a second ago, bro, you're, you're, you're asking, asking me like it's me. some chemistry oh. equation, like oh, what how to calculate how I'm he threw the, you, the guy doubt is into talking. it. It is you who said to me, Shaitan, he throws some misunderstanding. Bro, do you know why you're a hypocrite? Because so, it literally that, says in the is, Bible is that, that Jesus that, was, is was that, okay. enticed by the devil. Okay. Abdul, no. Like you believe that your God got enticed by the devil. Abdul, is, is, the Bible says that Shaitan, he tried to tempt Jesus, but he failed. But here, Muhammad, he is under the control of Shaitan. Oh, no, but here it says Allah, uh, Shaitan did it, but then Allah abolished it. Thank so you. What's the difference? So Allah did it. Shaitan did it. Allah will fix it. That means Muhammad is fully controlled by Shaitan. So Allah, he have to do something to, to it. No, Muhammad, no, 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 no. Why what did do you mean? Say no, 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 no. It's you who no, said. No, 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 no. You're putting words on my mouth. Okay. Where does it say Allah will control? abolish what? Allah no, no, show me where. No, no, you made the claim. Don't run away. Where does it say his, his actions are fully controlled by Shaitan? Don't run away from this claim. Are you challenging me? Yeah, where does it say he is fully okay. controlled Can by Can you give me like a week to find you the answer? Because I don't have my my reference ready. So why did you just... Okay, go ahead. Uh, I mean, you're going to have to find where he says Shaitan okay, fully controls him explicitly. It took me a week, but I asked my Afrit to find it. And he is very fast. And you know the story of Afrit and that Suleiman, the genie, the very fast. Here we go. This is the story says that Muhammad said that Shaitan, he command me, but to do good. Oh, you're talking about the one where, okay, you're talking about the one where everybody has a Qarin, so everybody has a jinn that's close to them, mm -hmm. but everybody gets evil doubts from it. Mm -hmm. However, the one that was close to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam actually became good and became a Muslim because mm -hmm. Allah helped him mm -hmm. and he actually enjoins him in good. So I don't like. I don't can see you, the issue with that because we, we know my friend, we know jinn can, can you be read good the and bad. It, it says shayatin, shaitan, shayatin. So he is Satan for sure. He's not just a genie. What? He's a no, shaitan. No, 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 no. What? What? Okay. What is a shait? What is a shaitan? Tell me. Shaitan is a shaitan. What is a shaitan? A shaitan is it is from the jinn, correct? Doesn't matter. But not all the jinn are shaitan. No, no, no. It do, it does matter. No, a shaitan. Not from the every jinn, genie correct? is a shaitan, and not every shaitan, but every shaitan is a genie. So shaitan is one of the jinn. A no, no, jinn. no. You just got that wrong as well. You can't. This guy just said every shaitan is a genie. In the Quran, it even says shaitan min jinnity where not. It says uh, shaitans from the people and from the jinns. So you just yeah. made a statement that was wrong again. So you are wrong. The, the, the shaitan is, is from the well. jinn. Is shaitan from the jinn or not? What's wrong with you? Yeah, but the okay. human jinn. So every shaitan, shaitan well. every shaitan is a genie, but not every genie is a shaitan, idiot. So how every are you wrong? Genie is 
So how I'm wrong? No, you Let just us go no, back. You, Let's go back. Just, Abdul, no, focus no, no, on me. Said, focus on me. You just drink said, Amal you, you Drink Amal you you that, that, that Listen, every so shaitan is commanding yeah, no, Muhammad. No, every shaitan who is, is the genie, one bro. who command your prophet? No, every shaitan is Who is the one who command your prophet? God or shaitan? Bro, you got your statement wrong. No, every shaitan is a genie. Every shaitan is a genie because shaitan is one of the genies. Bro, oh my God. Okay, wait, wait. What's wrong with you? You do not know your religion? No, 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 no. I need to get you this one second, one second. <laughs> one second. <laughs> you do not know that shaitan is a genie, are you sure? They are human shaitans as well. Uh, those are supposedly people who they are commanded by shaitan but the only shaitan no, is no. the one is from the jinn here we go chapter 18 i will help you i will help you abdul i will help you chapter 18 verse number 50. Hmm? chapter 18 verse number 50. yeah i'm looking up <clears throat> and the rest of the shaitan are his children's According to your scholars, Shaitan he have a children's, correct? Yeah. Okay, how he have a children's? Is it true that Allah created for him a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh? And then he laid in eggs? And then for oh, I eggs, don't know. You don't know. It's you who said to me, I'm twisting. I can show you the interpretation. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit busy looking something up right now. Uh, but okay, yeah, Mr. Go ahead, keep okay Mr. Busy. So now Shaitan is, is Shaitan is of the jinn and the rest of shaitan are the children's all the shaitans are from this guy he is a genie so his children will be genie like himself correct uh yeah but yeah yeah but yeah i like that but yeah uh, 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 uh. bro so, i'm not gonna so, lie so listen I'm now so now shaitan so shaitan so shaitan he throw in the mouth of muhammad satanic verses how allah he allows such a thing I thought Quran huh? is a pres I thought Quran is a preserved. Bro, say that again. Shaitan. Okay, thought... I think I found. I think I found it. I think I found it. Wait, wait, let me see. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna send you something. One second. Don't send me. Put just it up read on it. the screen, yeah. Put uh, it up on the screen. Okay, just read it. Just tell me what are you reading. Okay, go uh, Surah 114. Hmm. Okay, and. 114 are you sure you want to go there you will be you will regret i'm trying to help you honestly okay well i think it's the wrong one uh -huh. okay go ahead what were you saying, <clears throat> what <are> you saying? <laughs> okay let's go back to zero so allah he is going to clean the quran from the satanic verses correct he will yeah. abolish it okay that's mean in a certain moment quran was full of satanic verses no, it just means that there were misunderstandings within it. Okay, hold on. A second ago, you said, yeah. A second after, you said, no, that means there's misunderstanding. I said to you, remember what I said. Uh, 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 Satan, he made satanic verses. Allah will abolish it. You said, yeah. I yeah. Said I said, actually, actually, I said, exactly. Quran is full in Quran, uh, satanic verses in a certain moment, and Allah will abolish it. You said, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how Shaitan was able to make the Quran full of satanic verses and Muhammad did not notice that this is from Shaitan? You just said full. It's not full. It would have been It doesn't like, matter. Full or half would, or fifty I will I will give it forty percent like what you said before. So forty percent. So if a sentence if a sentence comes from the shaitan and mm. Allah abolishes it, then okay, what is the problem? Okay, with that? how how? But that shit. But that sentence is about worshiping the three daughters of Allah. Where? Let me see. So how Muhammad did not notice that worshiping the three daughters of Allah will make him out of what he claimed to be monotheism, because now he approved Allah and Manat and Al Uzza. So now we have four goddesses, three three females. And one male, you Muslims worship for God, and this is what your prophet worship. And the verse here is about Allah will take those verses 
which is called satanic verses from the Quran. So how Muhammad did not notice that shaitan is giving him satanic verses about worshipping the three daughters of Allah? Because the shaitan threw misguidance within his heart, but then okay. Allah abolished it. Thank you. So shaitan, guys, he misguided the prophet in his heart. And he made him. That doesn't. That doesn't mean he's always misguided. That just he's not means always. That that, yeah, he's not always. He's sometimes. Sometimes. Nah, nah, okay, nah, sometimes. Nah, no, no. Sometimes. Yeah. Every time he gets abolished, I'm not. Okay, guys. Each time it gets abolished. So Shaitan, he do poo poo inside Muhammad. Allah, he clean it. He get he get him to the sink. He put him in the kitchen. You know, and then he start like he cut his throat. Is that why that Allah he cut? Nah, his bro, bro, nah, nah, nah. You know what? If you speak like that, I'm I'm gonna have to hang up. So you need to you need to have manners when you're speaking. What's you wrong with that? that? Isn't it, isn't it your prophet? He says Allah he sent three angels to cut his throat from all the way to his testicles to clean him. No, nah, if you tell if you if you speak like that, then I'm I'm gonna hang up the call. Okay, I'll get lost. Don't put condition on me. I'm your master. Coward. Everybody is dying laughing at you. I made you famous. We are done with you. You don't speak like that. I'm going to hang up. Hang up. You are the one who just said, Shaitan, brother, he miss through misunderstanding sometime. How come this has never happened to Jesus? How come never happened to anyone? And as long we agreed that shaitan he threw some misunderstanding and that misunderstanding become Quran, then Quran is from shaitan. What a stupid religion. This is how stupid this cult is. And they say to you, find me one error. All of the Quran is an error. I mean, how this is from God, and how we can even be sure that this verse is not from shaitan. Because if shaitan was able to put once or twice or three times verses in the Quran, well, he can add this one and say to you, relax, relax, this is, I took it away, I took it away, I'm Allah. Correct, people? If shaitan was able to bet satanic verses once, he can add this verse. What is my guarantee that this verse itself is not from shaitan? There's no guarantee. Same time, if you read the story, you will see that Muhammad, he went home. And then Jibreel, he come to him, and he said to him, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, what you did, Muhammad? Muhammad, he said, what's up, what's up? He said, today, Khabibi, you worship the three daughters of Allah. Muhammad, he said, I did? What do you what the heck? He bowed down to them. This is misunderstanding? So, let us go back to zero. He called to make fun of Jesus, that Jesus is born, he was a child, and do he have a brother? Well, the Quran and the Bible confirm there is only one person, his name is the Messiah, the son of Mary, who is born without a virgin, without, without a husband, sorry. That's mean. There's only one, no one like him. Your God have a brother? See the city? Do your God have body? Well, your God, Allah, is a shin. And if we ask the Muslims, who is the one who made Mary have a child? They will say, Allah. So who is the father of Jesus based on this? The one who made my mother deliver me, have me, is my father. She did not have a child from the wind, obviously. So who is the father of Jesus? Why only Jesus have no father and he's born yet? The most time they will say to you, the Quran answer you, the Quran get you busted. It says the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. Stupid. Adam was not born. Idiot. Not only you are a bunch of idiots, your God is an idiot when you try to refute the Christians. 
because Adam is not like Jesus in any way in any mean first Adam was made from dust secondly Adam was a sinner number three Adam was not born number four Adam was kicked out of heaven number five Adam in Islam is a maniac he's a fool he's a stupid he claimed that he commit sin because his God he wrote the scenario of the movie that he will commit sin before he was created that is a scenario of an idiot however this is a scenario of Muhammad too while Jesus is born without father in the Quran Jesus spoke in the cradle Muhammad he waited 40 years the angel came to him he squeezed him three times said to him read Muhammad read you have no idea what's happening supposedly how come Jesus do not need Jibreel to receive revelation how come Jesus is born with the revelation the answer for that is very simple for Jesus is the word of God and that word sent down to us and the word of God is God John chapter 1 verse number 1 and the word of God became a flesh John chapter 1 verse number 14 and the stupid Quran who is trying to copy the book of John said the same said that Jesus Aka Isa, even Muhammad cannot even code the name correctly of the Messiah, Yeshua. Saying clearly that Jesus is the word of God who sent down to Mary. So where was the word? With God. And who was that word? Jesus. So before Jesus became a flesh, he was exist as the word of God. If you ask Muslims, is the word of God created? They will say no. Is the word of God is eternal? They will say yes. That is Jesus. He is not created. And he is eternal. So what is missing? All people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion. Quran chapter 4, 171. Nor say of Allah all but the truth, Christ Jesus, son of Mary, was between two brackets. Look at the Muslim, they add things between two brackets. No more than I like this, no more than okay. He is a messenger of Allah, that's wonderful. And his word is Muhammad the word of Allah? No, <laughs> is Ibrahim the word of Allah? No, what about Adam? No. only Jesus not only that the Quran the stupid Quran trying to copy the book of John did not stop there he is his word which is bestowed on Mary so the word coming from above this is why Jesus said I am from above you are from below and most then they say to you where well, Jesus says I'm God he just told you I'm from above you are from below that means he's from above. I am not from this earth. I am not from this world, he said. Not only this earth, this world. And then the stupid Quran continues saying, and his spirit proceeding from him. Jesus is the spirit of God. Even in the silly stupid Quran. Don't cry when you call me. When you call me, you ask for it. Let us see, maybe we have Abdul.
All right, this guy is he is using the internet of the neighbor. <coughs> Who is next? Uh, we try to call you, but you you cannot. I don't know your internet is bad. Let me try again. <coughs> Yes, Abdul, you are live on air. Hello? There's no guarantee. Hello? Yes, that's your daddy. You gonna run again? Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the, the stupid boy. The guy who do not know Arabic, he don't accept any translation. And he do not need interpretation for the Quran, but he have full understanding of the Quran. <laughs> and he consider any Muslim, any Muslim who accept the Hadith is a donkey. That will be include your prophet. But guys, just to show you the 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 the, the IQ of the Muhammadan, just to show you an example. You will not believe what you will see. Let me get it for you. And that will make you understand that this religion is a religion of idiots. The Prophet said, don't take down anything from me. And he who took down anything from me, except the Quran, he should efface that. What? The prophet, he just told you, don't write down what I say. You write it down. The guy, he just said to you, don't write down. Abdul, your prophet just said to you, don't write down what I am saying now. You write down that the prophet says, don't write down what I'm saying now. And before, and before, he just told you don't write it. Do you see the level of the intelligence of this cult? The prophet said, if you write down anything, other than the Quran, erase it, efface it, shish kebab yet, falafel met. The Muslim, the Lord, the Prophet says, don't if uh, I assure you that the one who was writing the scribe of Muhammad, he was uh, 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 Uthman ibn Farooq. Stupidity is amazing. And then the fruit of that, you will see someone like this guy, ultimate fault, who do not know English. Sorry, he do not know Arabic. He cannot read even a word in the Quran. And he do not need to know Arabic. I mean, why I need to why I need to know Arabic to understand the Quran? So what translation you accept? Yeah, I don't accept translation. <laughs> Who's next? Do we have any next? Open challenge. The Quran is a book of errors. We can't even count. You see, all those things we mention is an error. How the Muslim they say to us that Allah He preserved the Quran? Okay, it's too late. If the Quran confirmed that Allah He is going to take out satanic verses, that means the Quran is not preserved. If the Muslim, as we heard the Abdul saying, that Shaitan he throw some misunderstanding. So even Muhammad, he had meant misunderstanding of Islam. And who is behind that? Shaitan, brother. So if Muhammad himself cannot be trustworthy, who is next? Uh, he was asking about the Bible. 
No, we answer very easy. Jesus have a brother or have no brother? That doesn't make any difference. What do you mean we could not answer him? That is a very silly argument. And the Quran itself, you see, always you want to get Muslim Abdul busted. If you may, if you go and explain verses from the Bible, it will not change anything for him. He will say to you, I don't accept it anyway. The Quran said that Jesus is the only son of Mary. The Quran said that Mary she gave only one son as a virgin. That's it. And the Bible agree. There's only one son. The Virgin Mary she gave as a virgin. If she had, if he, if she, if Mary she have children after that, will not change anything, because it's still the son who is born from the virgin is that one is Emmanuel. That one is God with us. Do we have any Abdul? Are you against your Quran too? So the point of Muslim they try to make always is try to make to put Jesus down. But look at this. Jesus is holy even in the silly Abdul book. Muhammad is not. See the Muslim they say they call Muhammad holy prophet. But do you know that the Muslims they are ignorant. They knew that Muhammad is a big time sinner. The only one who was called holy is Jesus. Another error in the Quran, which is endless errors, chapter 48, verse number 2. You remember when I said to him, how Allah, he say, Allah witness to Allah that there is no God but Allah, which is a stupid God speaking to himself in the mirror. Look at this error here. This is about Muhammad have sin. The Muslim they falsely translate says fault. Faults do not need forgiveness. Sin need forgiveness. So what is the Arabic word says? لِيَغْفِرَ لَكَ اللَّهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِكَ وَمَا تَأَخَّرْ ذَنْب ذَنْب in Arabic Sin. Sin you do against God. You change the translator you will find suddenly a new version of it. Sin, no fault. That Allah may forgive your sin. May forgive your sin. Obviously, this is a man, his name is Muhammad, writing Quran, asking his God to forgive him for his sin, which means the Quran is a fabrication because. If Allah is talking, Allah will not wish to Allah to forgive the sin of Muhammad. Mr. Truth, you are a Muslim. You are asking us to explain in eulogy, Mr. Truth. Are you making a challenge for us? Here we go. Let us go to the embryology of Muhammad. I forgot to tell you that Muhammad, he was a doctor in the same time, not only a prophet. So look at the embryology of Muhammad. A Muslim, his name is the truth. I don't know why he don't... Text me in Skype. I will call you so people can hear you. The embryology of Muhammad. Hey, Dr. Muhammad, tell us about how the baby is made. Uh, Maybe Zakarnay can tell us better because he's a doctor. Christian Prince, I told you don't call me. Zakarnay, how in the world you know it's me? First of all, you are the one who you call me when I'm eating. You, what? You are the only one who called me when I'm eating. Uh, you, you are eating now, sorry for that, but you don't sound like you're eating. Well, I was eating bad things. I mean, my mother in law here. I have four of them. Okay, Zakir, your prophet said, and you are a doctor, so I need your consultation here. It says that the messenger of Allah, the truthful and the receiver of the truth, he was a satellite prophet, Muhammad, satellite. 
informed us saying, the creation of you human gather in the form of a semen in the belly of your mother or the womb of your mother for 40 days. Can you explain that to us? Great temperance. It's proven scientifically that the human being when he have ejaculating, he will what? Ejaculating. Uh, uh, ejaculation. Exactly. He make a ejaculation. Okay. And then he made another ejaculation. Uh, okay. And then he make another ejaculation. Uh -huh. So he keep doing that for 40 days. Uh -huh. And all the exact they think go inside the mother wife. Uh -huh. And the woman, she stored him. Mm -hmm. She stored the ejaculation there. Exactly. For 40 days. Why she need all this ejaculation? She is going to make a uh, hummus, uh, yogurt. Christian Prince, this is science. And this is scientifically proven to be true. Like, what the heck? It's like an egg. How you know that this is scientifically proven to be true? I will believe you. As an example, my father, he could not help me for 40 years. 40 years? Yes, because my mother she was collecting ejaculation. She was collecting ejaculation for 40 years? Sorry, I made it 40 years, 40, 40 days. How you know that this has happened? You were not born yet. Christian Prince, you need it. I was one of those semen, so I'm a real witness, first hand witness. You were a first hand witness, and you were one of those semen? Christian Prince, so I think I came to life. You're stupid. I never thought about this second night. You were a first hand witness for what happened. You were a semen. And you were watching that. Exactly. Actually, I remember when my father had a great thing, he don't want to be. Like, what? I don't want to be. What does that mean? It doesn't mean this is not right to say for, you know, like it's very adult language. Ah, okay. So don't say it then. So, Christian Prince, I'm Thor, now you are convinced. And I'm Thor, oh, hold on, don't tell me Thor and Thor. You, you, first of all, let me get my umbrella. Secondly, according to Prophet Gogol, peace be upon him. It says that semen can live inside the women of a max of five days. So how semen live for 40 days inside the women? First of all, the study they made about semen in Google is made for normal women. Most of women are different. Like, what the heck? Muslim women are different, Zakir Nayek? <laughs> <laughs> Do we need even to prove to you that your prophet is a fraud? Ejaculated the sperm remained blah 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 up to five days. Muhammad he just added a zero next to it. I mean what a big deal. It's the same. I mean, what is different between five days and 40 days? The error is only 35 days, brother. What's wrong with you? I think there's an Abdul trying to call us. Let us help the Abdul. Oh, this is a this is ultimate fault I think ultimate fault. Let's, let's have fun with ultimate fault just for fun. Yeah, okay, take care. I'm not going to spend the day trying to call you. So my friends, they say to us, "Can you find us a mistake?" Oh, the Quran is a mistake. I mean. As long as we are talking about in biology and Mr. Truth is in the chat, he's a Muslim, he is the one who challenged us to talk about it. Let us talk about it. What kind of God, he say, that a semen transform into a congealed dead blood? Huh? Is that a God? Or a Bedouin guy in the desert, he have no idea what he's talking about. Chapter 23, verse number 14. Guys, do you remember the Dawah team? They, they made a video and I got them busted. I think we still have it there. Go watch it. 
They said, brother, brother, first of all, the word solb means male member. <laughs> and the word taraib obviously is not the ribs. Like, what the heck? And the proof of that, go to the dictionary. We went to the dictionary in two seconds. We found that it is the ribs. And not only the ribs, it is the location of the necklace in the ribs. This guy, he called me. I don't receive his call. Hello? Ultimate. Hello? Hello, yes. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I thank you. So you are a Muslim, my friend? <clears throat> yes, yes. I, I, I've seen you on, on YouTube. Okay, what do you like to say to us? You are live, like on, you are live on air. Really? Yeah, we are live on air now. What do you like to say to us? How many people are there? Not many. Let me count. Give me time until tomorrow. I will tell you. Uh, it's 2,000 almost. <laughs> yeah, because I need to count them, you know, because your prophet, he saw the angel Jibreel and he count that he had yeah. 600 wings. But he saw him for like a few seconds. How he was able to count them? I don't know. Okay, you are, a Muslim, you are, you are a Muslim, right? Yeah. Okay, tell me about what you want to, what you want to say to us. Why are you called? Oh, I want to see who you are. Huh? I wanted to see how you are. I'm doing are you great, good... as you see. I'm, as you see, I'm doing great. Thank, thank you, Lord. And, uh, you know, more Muslims live in Islam, and we invite you to leave Islam immediately. What do you think? Um, uh, why not? Well, why not? Yeah, tell, me, uh, tell me why not. Um, I don't think I'll do that. Why not? Because I don't want to. Okay, but what's the reason? You know, okay, let me ask you. Uh, you are a, you are a man, and the Quran is promise us if we convert to Islam, Allah will give us women with big boobs. What do you think about that? Really? Yeah. Can you show me where is that? You are a Muslim. You do not know where is that? I don't, to be honest. No. Uh, my friend, you are not doing your homework. You should study more. All right, here we uh, go. I will. Here Here we we go. Go. Chapter uh, chapter what? 78, verse number 33, it says, let me read, my English is very good, by the way, the best, you know, it says, and volo, volo, uh, bato, potatoes, volo potatoes, Allah will give you volo potatoes, women. Volo potatoes? Yeah, I don't know, this is how it come from me, as you know, I'm not inspired by Jibreel like your prophet, so I do not know, speak English good. So it says in Arabic, you tell me in English, here we go read it. I don't know how to read it, to be honest with you. It's very hard for me. It's, it's, it's a potato, something like that, you know. Voluptuous. Voluptuous. Ah, this is voluptuous? Unbelievable. Okay. So what, what voluptuous mean? It means uh, busty. <laughs> busty. It means what? Like big. Big, yeah. Big, big women boobs. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, brother, what do you think about what the God? What do you think? What verse is that? This is the chapter 78, verse number 33. 78, 33. Let oh, me read. Yeah. Okay. And full bosomed. Oh, they have full bosomed. Maidens of, oh. and full breast companions. Oh, this is a trans yes. this translation of who? It uh, depends what translation you want. Okay, I don't no read so, Arabic. So Allah, yeah. He promised us full bosom. I mean, like, uh, are, are we expecting that to have women usually like have half bosom? What full bosom? Uh, well, what full bosom? Some, some, some women do. Uh, so Allah is concerned about your worry. You go to the bedroom and one of your wives, she take off her bra and like, what? Is this what happened? How's your thing saying that? Um, I wouldn't say that. I would probably say. Say, tell me, obviously. tell me. This is what it says. It says that Allah yeah. is talking about full size, big size, watermelon. So why, why such a God promising it's such a promise? It doesn't say watermelons. You know, for me it says potatoes, but for you, you said what? How you read the word? Uh, no, well, when I read it here, it says full bosom, but I'm, I'm guessing the word you're looking for is voluptuous. Voluptuous. Okay, I like the voluptuous. I, I love voluptuous, actually. I ate, it, I ate many times voluptuous, like in the restaurant. I, 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 they call it calamari in Greece. So listen, so voluptuous, 
What kind of yeah. God he promised me? Women, they have voluptuous boobs. Why? What's wrong, what's wrong with that? Okay, what, what's wrong with that? Because he did not even yeah. say the word women. What is the word women in the verse? It says companions. Where is the word companion? I don't know. I, I don't read Arabic. I read honest. Arabic. It says, There is no women. There is no companion. There is only one, two words that they are like each other and they are voluptuous. So okay, no women, well, uh, how we know that I'm, even how we know I'm, even that they are females. There's no well, the, I, the word women is not there. Yeah, um my first of all my, my knowledge is not that good, but I, I believe so I don't wanna it's just a I'm a guess I'm taking, so I'm I'm not really sure. But I'm guessing it's probably because in uh, I think this verse is referring I've just read, uh, read the before and after okay. verses. I believe it's referring to um, uh, paradise. Exactly. I don't believe it's something. Oh, no, no. Yes, yeah. You are right. You are right. So why why now? I mean, why God is mentioning it to me? Size I'll, of I'll tell you. Give me a second. I, to, I told you. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But um, obviously, you know, paradise is is not going to be of this earth. I think even even in your belief, you believe this. It's not going to be the same as this. Uh, well, it, well, it's the on. same. It's the same, my friend. As you see, there's nothing but breast and boobs and vagina and penis. It's the same. Actually, it's more dirty, because now you see in this earth, you see a woman, you like her, she like you. Here, yeah. she is uh, just made for you. She is a sex toy. She is a silicone. So this is a woman you never met. She never know you. You never know her name. Oh. You you said you said it doesn't even say if it's a woman or not. I'm not saying it's, it it means it's okay. a man. No, obviously. no, no. You see, okay, hold on. We are assuming it, it could that, be we are assuming something. it's for women because it's going to be horrible if it's a man. I'm trying to help you okay. here. Okay, it's a man. <laughs> so it's a man, oh, guys. He got he got upset because it's uh, that, that doesn't no, 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 say women. No, no. I'm trying to help you. If you it's if you, you say, to it's it, it's you who said to me it's, it's, it's supposed to be women, right? It's you who said that to me. You forgot. I I said, if you could give me a chance, please. Um, you said I, I told you I don't read them. Um, I don't. I, I don't read Arabic, to be honest. Hmm. You said the word um, "woman" doesn't appear yeah, in the doesn't, Arabic. Doesn't you know? You can go. Uh, you can I'll, do this. I'll take your word. I'll take your word on that. Okay. I I I, I said, I said it, and I'm just saying from my opinion. I'm, I don't have uh, knowledge, if I'm being very honest. But I said, obviously, as you know. Paradise is different to Earth. Okay. You know, is 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 not the same. So, w w whatever whatever it is, I don't know. But God knows. I don't know. Yeah, but you know, you see here, the promise of Allah is to make me believe. Correct. Yeah. Well, well, if it, if it, if it means full bosom, I mean, it should. Assuming it's going to be a woman, even if it doesn't say a woman, because a woman have uh, my bosoms, friend, don't my, they? My friend, you are, I, I can tell you are a nice person from good family, so I don't, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to be rude to you. But let's do this: a person yeah. he come to your house, and I want to be honest with me. He knock okay. at your door, and he said to you, yeah. "If you believe in my God, my God will give you women with big boobs." Are you going to listen to such a person? Well. I... <laughs> That's not the only verse, though, is it? It's no just problem. Obviously... No problem. But this is what he chose. <laughs> are you saying to me? Uh, are you saying to me that this is not right to say? He chose the wrong one. No, I, I don't think there's nothing wrong. Okay, with so it. I, I, mean, want, I want you to answer I me mean, then. Is it? Is what, what, it? Is it right? As, as men, as men, what do we? What do we love on this earth alone? You, like, lo you love, love. You love big boobs. What if I like uh, small boobs? Well, you can get. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he promised me big boobs. I mean, I want an open buffet. I choose whatever I wish. So do you, do you, do you like small boobs? <laughs> why not? I mean, I, I'm, I, why? Okay, do you like to have a... Are we talking about a cow now or a woman? <laughs> okay, okay. okay well, so, so what this is about... And then, and then, okay. So now Allah, he says that those women, they will have full boobs. And what does that mean? What, what about you? Tell me about those women. Who are they? What do you know about I, those women? I don't have. I, I'm not sure. Okay, so the only important <laughs> thing in those women is their boobs. There's any, no other <laughs> thing about them is important. Look, your Quran says there's two things important about those women. 
their vagina and their boobs. What do you say? Does it say vagina? Yes. I, I don't read the vagina there. Well, you know, uh, let, let, us, let us show you what it says. I'll read the, um, the English translation. It says, and full-breasted of equal age, hmm. and then it goes on to say, and full cups of pure wine, hmm. never to hear any, no ill speech will they hear therein, or any falsehood. Hmm. Okay. Um, I've, I've just basically, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing obviously from just reading this, it's, uh, it's definitely the description of paradise. Okay, my friend, I, I agree with you. This is about paradise. But listen with me carefully. In chapter really? 55, verse number 56, it describes what is inside the vagina. Okay, let me go to that one second. If you could just hold on. Where's that, 55? 55, 56. Surah Al Rahman. Hmm. It says, In them there will be maidens. One second, let me just get the translation. Can you read the one in the screen? I'm showing you on the screen. In them will be maidens chaste, restraining their glances, whom no man or jinn before them has touched. Is that the verse you're talking about? It doesn't say that. This is a lie. In the, the verse it says, and this is the, the more accurate translation, this is a Muslim translation in front of me. It says, where in both will be those maidens restraining in their glance upon their husband, whom no man or genie, yat mutahunna, between two bracket has opened their humans, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, humans, with sexual intercourse before them. Well, if you read it, it says, in them there will be maidens restraining their glances, whom neither a man has not touched before them, nor a touch, meaning touch they are... What, touch what exactly? As in, hasn't touched them in a sexual way. Okay, no, touch where exactly? The vagina. It says here, yatmuth ahunna. Yatmuth, a tamth, a tamth, my yes. friend. Okay, Thomas is when women bleed either from losing her virginity or from the period. No, that's fine. I agree. Okay, it's, it's so so what we learn about those women now? They have big boobs and their vagina is brand new. They are versions, you could say. In okay, uh -oh. yeah, that's it. So now I will believe in Allah because they have a vagina never been touched and big boobs. Well, uh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Is you know, this is just talking about what you will receive in paradise. Like, this exactly. is a remote. And, okay. What about just, what about just, you? Tell what? me about the women. Where is what? the women? Okay, my friend. Where is the women? And why those women are jailed in their tent? Why they will be jailed? Jailed? Yeah. It says restraining. They will be jailed. They cannot. They cannot go out. They can't see. They can't see any other person in the world except you. Yeah, and 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 why not? What's wrong with that? I mean, so, that's in paradise. Okay, so do you do you like do you okay? So do you like do you like abuse? Do you like do you enjoy abuse? So you are a person who like your women. You have tons of women now, and they are jailed. They can't see anybody. Nobody can see them. So you can just enjoy them sexually forever. Is that an abuse or not? Is that a sex sex slave? No, I wouldn't say that's abuse because so like I told you. Why are you them? Why they are jailed? I'll, I will explain to you. Okay, one explain. Second. Go ahead. Like I said to you earlier, there there is a difference between this world and paradise. This is not talking about a woman from this world. Hmm. Do you see what I mean? It's not talking about a woman. This is in paradise. This is this is created for your reward uh -huh. when you protest in this life. Hmm. And. This is what it means. It is, it's not like that's what they was made for. That's what they will be made for. They will be created for. So they are made just for sex? For They, they are created for your pleasure. Okay. Yes. For your reward. So, for your reward. So look at this God, guys. He could, are those women are human or they are silicon? I wouldn't say they're silicon nor are they human. This I told you, I told you, uh, Mister. They are machine. What? No, <laughs> no, they're not a machine. Um, what? What is in? I'm not sure where, but in in another verse in the Quran, there is something. 
I, I couldn't say it word for word, but it's describing like obviously rivers of uh, in of the honey in the coast, in the coast, and, and, and the same chapter. Actually, I think we can we can go there. But uh, I want you to focus with me now. Focus with yeah, me. I, the will, woman. I, I don't care about the honey. Please. I can get no, if you, I can get honey from Walmart. This is listen, 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 my friend. Those women, they are made from what? Are they human or not? If you if you could please let me just explain from what I know, hmm. from what I know. If you could just give me a chance, please. And sure. I'm not I'm not going off topic. I'm not going off topic. Okay. Basically, like I said, I'm not sure um, verse for verse how it goes, but it's something similar in this context. It talks about when it's given a description of paradise. It's talking about fruit and things like that and it says you will eat of it okay. but it will not be like of this world mm. so it's it's given us it's telling us an example but we don't know what it will be like it will be obviously something much better but we we can't at, at this moment in this life we can't comprehend it we can't because it's paradise you know i mean that's the main aim so, as yourself you you believe with, with your belief and with people who believe in God, their main aim is is to get into paradise, right? But we we don't know what we we've never been to paradise. We don't know what it's like, and we we don't understand. It's it's kind of like going into even on on in this world when you go into a a different country and you see a different culture. Hmm. Some people say it's alien. It's something different. So we learn, but because we haven't been to paradise, we don't know. We just ha we're given a description. Hmm. It's a description from what I know. From this is from what I know. Okay. This is what I believe. I, I'm not. I'm like I told you. I, I'm not really knowledgeable. If I'm being very honest, but it's in in another verse. It's talking about you know in paradise where you'll be given fruit and everything, but it will be not like of this world. Hmm. It will be something different. So what? This is not a question. You see, first of all, if if mm -hmm. uh, we know that this is not from this world, but however. Are they females and they are women or they well, are I'm, not I'm, females and I'm, women? I'm, I'm sure they they will be females, but they're not going to be females of this life. So are they human? So what not lie in this I'm, life? Who I'm, care? I'm, are they human like you or you are going to sleep with a silicone? No, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say they're silicone. So either they're human or animals, and there's no third, third choice except a Barbie. Choose one. Silicon, Barbie, human, animals. No, it, it, it can be something else because God can make something what he decides. Okay. Whether it, do, do, when do, you mean do, okay, do those women, they speak mm. to you your language or they don't? I'm not. I'm not sure. To be honest, I'm yeah, they, sure they, they will be. They will be singing for you one song forever. I mean, this is. So look what happened now. Your God yeah, explained I'm, nothing about. Will. To the point. Look how confused you are. You do not even know if they are human or not. You do not know if they are like it, it, you or not. All what it, you know, it, it, they are from other dim dimension, and they have boobs, and they did not bleed. Day. Let me ask you: Is the blood? Is the blood? Is a sign yeah. of being? A creature which is either a human or an animal, correct? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm. I'm. Sure, it says I'm sure yet they mutahunna, are. Yet mutahunna, they will not bleed. You know, they did not bleed yet, which means they will bleed. They did not well, bleed it yet. Doesn't, it doesn't need to mean that. It just it could mean it's given a description that she is untouched. No, no. It's, you see, he, he did not use true. the word untouched. This is a false translation. It says yet mutahunna. Even your Muslim translation says has opened their humans with sexual intercourse. Uh, you go to the dictionary, you see that Thomas is either the woman of blood from period or when she loses her virginity. So she will she did not yet bleed, which means she will bleed. So she is a human. Now this a human she is going to be jailed inside her tent for eternity. Yeah. So you can enjoy her. What is the joy that you are having women? And those women, they cannot go out forever. Is that is it? This is a is it? This is a slavery. No, it's not. It's not a slavery. So it's what it is? Slavery. They cannot leave. Can they leave? It's your reward. It's can, your reward. Can they refuse you a reward? So the king, he said, you, the pharaoh, says you because you are good to me. I'm going to give you one thousand human beings to sleep with them. You just call no. 
human. This is a human, though. We don't. We do, We don't. We do, We don't. My um, friend, because even your wives and the earth, they will be there. Even your wives and the earth, and they don't choose the husband. Allah will designate who will be with you in the heaven. Not only the whore, even your wives and even children. How many child you will have for you as a slave in the heaven? I, I'm not sure. To be honest, I feel like you're going a bit of topic here. I'm trying no, to. No, we are talking about the topic because we are talking about the reward of the heaven. Look what your prophet he yeah. said. The lowest reward, the lowest reward of a person in heaven, is going to have eighty thousand child. Let us go and find the hadith. Eighty thousand. Those are just slaves. Those are slaves. Yep. This this is a hadith though the hadith is is different from no the Quran, it's not only the hadith we can go to the quran the quran says yeah, the quran promising you the quran, the quran we'll what, with... so why you don't want the hadith are you ashamed of your prophet no i'm not ashamed the okay. thing with the hadith but isn't your prophet is, uh, is the one who explained the quran to you and you have no idea what islam is without your prophet saying no the hadith the hadith came hundreds of years after the Quran. Well, the Quran and came hundreds of years too because the one who recite the Quran, the Quran we are viewing right now, is the recitation, not the book, of Hafs, which and, is more than 200 years a, after a, Muhammad. A lot, of, a lot of the Hadith as well came from the Persian area of the world. And because of that Persian, time, I believe... Persian, okay, you the see, Persian okay, let, let me ask you, is the Quran coming from the Persian area? Is the Quran coming from the Persian no. area? No? So how Allah, he promised you in the Quran is Tabrak. Is Tabrak is a brand of the Persian silk. Because he uh, he knows, Allah knows what uh, yeah, it but, is. But the Persian are in he earth, knows. the Persian are in earth and they are making clothing in earth. And now yeah. your God Allah is going to buy what they make in earth. He will take it to heaven. He cannot make the same. He said is Tabrak. Is Tabrak is like now saying Gucci. It's a very well-known brand for the Persian, only Persian make it for silk and only very wealthy, rich people, they can afford such a thing. So look what your God, he did. Your God, he is going to buy from the Iranian Al Khomeini. Hey, Khomeini, please, can you send me 1000 jacket of or, 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 or a T-shirt of Istabrak? So if Allah is creating heaven and this is out of dimension, then he should not use something is made in this earth. Where no, but where does he? Are you trying to say he's going to? He's promised in heaven a the Persian clothing. It says that it's tabraka, it's tabraka, It's a Persian clothing. Yes, but you you need to understand what what is is given as a description for us here is not going to be the same in heaven. So Everything why Allah, in heaven. Okay, can't Allah he use different word? I mean, why I want to use Nike if it's not Nike? Why I want to use Apple if it's not Apple? Why I want to use Samsung if it's not Samsung? So Allah, he says, I'm going to get you Samsung in heaven. And now you are telling me Samsung is not Samsung. Well, it's like you're talking about the, the um, what you call it, the voluptuous woman. It's given us a description because we understand what that is. It's for us as humans to understand. But do you understand now? Do you understand anything? I understand. I'm, I'm, understand. I'm, I'm, so what we understand now, there is there's a lot of women, tens of thousands, waiting for you and their legs is open, excuse my language. And now Allah will close you with clothing is made in Iran. In the top of that, do you like to wear a bracelet? Why not? Well, I don't know. This is very gay for me. Why a man want to wear a bracelet? I I mean, I, I, I wear as long as it's silver, personally. You know, okay, so what's wrong with gold? If you wear gold, does that make you gay? No, it doesn't make I just feel like it's okay, a bit... so why Allah, you say this is different dimension. Why Allah, he promised you a bracelet from gold in one verse and a bracelet of silver from one verse? Contradiction. Maybe you have both. It does, it's not a contradiction. It, just it is a contradiction have... because they are coming in two different verses. One saying, I will give you bracelet from gold this is a chapter 30 35 33 and then the other mm -hmm. verse says at as i will mean for the chapter 76 verse now 21 so either you will have this or you will have that if it is both then he should mention both in the same verse did he forget in chapter 76 to say silver and gold no he said silver 
And, that, now, that, that's, and again, that's not, and again, look what he did. Look what he did. He says, yeah. "You will wear clothes is made of sundos, which is silk, all right, and you will be decorated with bracelet." Well, I don't see any contradiction in that. Okay, let us go to the other verse. Here we go. It says here, no chapter twenty-two, verse number twenty-three. It says, "Bracelet from gold." There's nothing wrong with that. A contradiction is when somebody says, like, example, I will do this, but they do something else. No, he did but something it, else. It he did something else. Because if, if, if it, you see, when Allah he is telling you what you will get in heaven, did he miss to say the word gold in one place? He fixed it in second place? But there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, so you are saying he forgot? No. <laughs> I never said he forgot. Okay, so if never, you remember, he if, if you remember why he did not mention it here, what is the word I'm, silver? I'm, okay, let us. Let, um, okay, what is the value of gold and silver in heaven? I have no idea. Is it true that in the heaven there is a market for you of a playboy? I'm not sure. I'm what really we, not sure. What if this is true? What is, the, is there a market for what? Of a playboy magazine. A <laughs> Come on, you you're being funny now, yeah. Well, it's funny. Are you making fun of your prophet now? We're well, making fun, but come on, there's nothing that says Playboy magazine. Okay, wh what if we prove it? Yeah, prove it. Okay, but if we, if I prove it, what you will do? Nothing. No, you don't care, because you just said it's funny. No, but there's no way. I've never read anything that says there's what a Playboy it, what magazine. What if it is? Look and show me them. I'm asking you, what if it is before I show you? Are you going to be disgusted? Um, I, I, I'm, I know it doesn't exist. Okay, you, you, so you are sure it exists. Let me ask you. Did Allah promise you yeah. in the heaven to have sex with men or only women? I, I believe only women. Well, let us see. Here we go. And I want you to read with me in the screen, please. And the Muslim, they try their best to fight those hadith, which is a very embarrassing stories in the you know in the, in their in their books. Hello. Yeah. Read. Uh, watch the screen with me. Do you see it? I do. Hmm. What do you see? One second. And if you don't like Your this uh, this uh, translation, hold. Let us show you the big the big one, the original one. Here we go. <clears throat> this 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 is not in the Quran. This is in the Hadith. So what? Yeah. And this is in the. It's not in the Quran. Then. Okay. It says your prophet said that in the heaven there's a market. Yeah. And in this market, there is images of men and women. And if the man, he like the image, he enter it, which means he have sex with it. Yeah, but this, like I told you, this is not the Quran. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter, my doesn't matter. friend. Is it your prophet who is saying that? Mm, this is I, I don't take the all the hadith. As, who care? Uh, who care if you take it or not? I mean, is, is it up to you? Take the Quran, though. Is it, but up not to you? The is it up to you, my friend? Is it up to you? It, it is up to me. <laughs> no, it's not up to you <laughs> because it's religion. You, you cannot. We cannot change it. <laughs> if you're a prophet, this is your prophet. This is your prophet. Are you saying to me that you are more authority than your prophet? I think I think the the Quran as a hundred percent, but. Um, not uh, not the hadith or because hadith is was um, I believe was is written by like is is the word of man passed on narrations, but uh, the Quran is is the word of God. My belief is it based on narration too. Pardon? Isn't it the Quran based on narration of people? Yeah, but it's is in is is the word of God. It's the word, I believe it's, it's, it's okay. Let, let us let us confirm if it's the word of God or not. I will make it very simple. Listen, my friend, you sound like a nice guy. I will give you a chance to prove to me that this is the word of God. I will ask you very simple. 
According to the Quran, which one Allah created first? The mountains, the trees, or the stars? Uh, I'm I'm not sure. I told you I'm I'm not okay. very. I will I'm not very. Okay, I will see? help you. I will help you. If we go to uh, this chapter here, chapter two, verse twenty-nine, it says, "It is He who has created for you all things that on earth, and then not more over." Translation says, I, I, "More over." I cannot see nothing on your screen. Is blank. Uh, it, now it's blank. Maybe it's taking time to load. It's in Arabic. What, I, I, what, I don't read. What translation you you read usually? What translation you read? Um, I I I have I have a few. Tell I me, have a few. Tell I, me I, translation I, you I have, like, so I can put it for you. Like this one, uh, Muhammad Hilali and Khan. Which one is your favorite? I can put it for you. Um, I uh. Just uh, Yusuf Ali is okay. Okay, this is Hilari and Khan. Let us see this one. It is he who created for you that all on earth, and then he went up to the heaven, and he made them seven heaven. Based on this verse, Allah created the earth first or the heaven? He created. He. It is he who created for you all that is on earth. Then he rose over towards the heaven and made them seven. He said, "So he created. It is he who created for you all that is on earth." He created all that is on earth as then he rose over towards the heaven. And and then he made them seven heaven, right? Yeah. Okay, so which one what, he which which one he finished first? Uh I believe from that first the earth. Okay, wonderful. So the earth is the first one he finished. Let us go to the different verse in the whole one. This is a different chapter in the Quran, chapter seventy nine, verse number thirty. It says here, we, we start from verse number 27. You can read for us. Go ahead, read for us. Chapter 79, verse 27. <laughs> uh, me? Yeah, read for us. Your English is better than mine, for sure. All right. Um, if you could just put it on the screen. Yeah, it's on the screen read. already now. Are you more difficult to create, or is the, is the heaven that he constructed? Hmm. Verse after it. He raised his height and he has equally ordered it. Wonderful. Verse number 29. It's night he covers with darkness and it's... If you could scroll down, please. Hmm. And it's forenoon he brings out okay. with light. And then, and then what he did? And after that he spread the earth. And after that he did what too? Verse 31. And brought forth therefrom its waters and its... Down, please. Pasture. And what, the last one? Uh, could you scroll down, please? And the mountains he has fixed firmly. Okay, so look what happened. Based on this, the last thing Allah, he finished, it was the mountains and the earth, correct? Mm-hmm. In the verse before it, the chapter before chapter 2, you agreed that based on this chapter, Allah, he finished the earth first. And then he went to the heaven and he made them seven heaven. But the chapter we just showed you is the opposite. It says that Allah first, he finished the heaven, made them seven heaven. He raised it above. He made the day and the night. And then after that, he started walking in the earth. He made it flat. And after that, he made the substance of the, and the water and trees. And after that, he made the mountain. The last thing is the mountain. Correct? Now he it says he 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 created what is on the earth, no not problem. the earth. No, my friend. What is okay? The earth. It friend, doesn't. Let us go. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Focus with me. Focus with me. Chapter two, verse what? twenty-nine. Let's read it again. It says, "It is He who created for you all that is on the earth." Yes, which which could mean different things. It doesn't it mean, mean the earth. Thing. All that on the earth. All that it doesn't say all it doesn't say the earth. It says all that is on oh, the earth. Any, there's other earth. No, no, no. So all that is on the earth. All in Meaning, the earth. Okay. Ma on al earth, the materials, the, the you could say nature. Okay. okay, I will. I will show you one more. Just wait. You try. Nice try. Okay. Let us go to a different one. I want you to read this one and laugh with me now. Let us see how you can solve it. <laughs> 
I don't know why you said nice try. I'm really not trying. I'm not no, being rude to you. No, because you are trying, my I'm, friend. It's you. I, I asked you about chapter two. You said to me, based yeah. on this, you remember? Based on this, obviously, Allah, he created the earth first before he, finished, he, 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 he did the sky. You said that. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Now, we go here. We will find chapter 41, verse number 11. And if we read it from, uh, uh, just to keep the same translator, if we read it from the verse number 10, 41, 10, it says here, he placed therein, i.e. between the earth, for mountains from above it. Actually, let's go to the verse before, sorry, I skipped this one. Say Muhammad, uh, uh, between bracket, do you, ver do you verily dis disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days and set reviles in worship with him? Uh, uh, that is your Lord uh, uh, of uh, Rabbul Alameen, the word of uh, uh, two words, actually not mankind, but the translation. And then he placed then, he placed in, in the I, earth. I, I don't really like this translation, to be what, honest with what you. What translation you want? What translation you want? I told you if you could just put just one without the because this translation okay, is what, puts give, me one, give me one give me one you want Joseph Ali this is Joseph Ali I don't know all of them they have a bracket I don't know this one has uh, it has commentary included okay what do you want which, which one give me my, my friend give me one just, which, which yeah. one you want this huh anyone without commentary please I know this is not this kind of, this is this is Joseph Ali, Joseph Ali is that okay okay go ahead okay so this is Joseph, Joseph Ali saying he set on the earth mountains standing firm high above it and bestowed blessing on the earth and measure all th uh, there in all things and giving them is gone. <laughs> Let us hope it was an error, not an Quranic error. It's a Skype error. Let us hope it's a Skype error, not Quranic error, because I have a feeling that he is not going to answer. I have a feeling it was not an error, he dropped it in purpose. I'm telling you, Jibril told me that he hang up, he's not answering. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, is it obvious? Have you ever heard of a god? You don't remember which one he finished first? Mountains or the stars? Stars or the trees? Trees or the water? Earth or heaven? And they challenge you, a brother and sister. This is not a book from man, brother. This is a book from God. What? This is a book from God. Who? Hey, Abdul, are you sure? Abdul, are you sure? How's that? Challenge. Challenge. Challenge, 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 brother. This is the words of Allah. Find me one error in this, I'll leave Islam. One, are you, I think he made a mistake. He, he wanted to say 1,000. Finally, we're in error. Find me one error. Can you find me one error? You can't find me one error. The Christian Prince, are you hiding behind the burqa? <laughs> it's obvious anyone have little dignity. I, I asked the friend who called us. I don't want to make fun of you, my friend. I understand it's very embarrassing. Read it and be honest. Which one Allah he finished first? It's very obvious. 
either the last thing he did is the mountains or the last thing he did is the stars just compare between two and you will find the answer right away uh, he's saying his battery died you know he need to recharge okay my friend you can call me anytime no problem you are welcome he's a nice guy <sighs> yeah actually now the Muslim they will complain they will say Christian Prince we challenge to show us one error not a thousand therefore your argument is not valid I cannot do it so I mean Zach and Nike will Christian Prince the talent made by our brother Farouk fame thrown one error and because you are stupid you saw that more than a hundred error and you prove that you are stupid because the talent was one error and now you saw that one thousand and that means you lost thank you very much like, what the heck Oh, God promising me women with big boots. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Like, what the heck? Was he a pimp? He Christian Prince, if you follow me, I will give you women with big boots. Hey, Allah, what? How big? Very big. Like, can you tell me his scribe? I mean, really big. Like, okay, Allah, just tell me, you know, I mean, you scared the hell off me now. You know, what if she smashed me with one of them? You know, if they are so big, hey, Allah, do they bounce? Absolutely. Like how? Boing, boing, boing. Hey, Allah, what is inside those boobs? Milk, honey, or gas? Milk. Wrong answer. <laughs> I want gas. Do you know the price of gas now? Do you did you see the price of gas? Tell George Biden. You stupid American, you voted for this guy. You voted for this guy. We don't want milk in those boobs. We want gas. Who's going to pay for my car? Allah? I don't want women have milk. Imagine you have a woman, whore. You know, Allah, he created for you a whore. She have a boobs, big boobs. You, your gas is over. She go out of the car. And boop, 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 she squeeze it. This your car is full of gas, and you continue driving. Alhamdulillah. I mean, we have to, we have to, you know, we have to agree. We have no choice not to agree, and they will, they will kill you if you don't agree. <laughs> the brothers and sister. The price are going everywhere, not only in America. No, my friend. In America, we have a lot of gas. So price here should be the cheapest in the world. Those are stupid people. The first day they took over the office, they stopped drilling for gas. Don't you get it? Gas was expensive in the time of Trump too. But in America, it was cheap. And actually, when America dig, the price go down everywhere. Because America was number one producer for oil. This is what happened when you choose an idiot. You know the thing. I, I find a lot of similarity between Allah and Joe Biden. They, they, both of them, they have no idea. You know the thing. I mean, if you try to explain the Quran, the easiest way to get a Christian prince busted is to say to him, let's like say he said to you, okay, explain to me chapter 42, verse number 10. If you try to explain it, my friend, he will get you busted. So let me tell you what you do. Tell him you know the thing. We are created by the thing, you know, and you know, you know the thing. That's it. What you can do about it. It's over. He got busted. He was talking big for Joe Biden. What talking big mean? I don't know what does that mean. Talking big. Is that English? Uh, so.
So do we have any more Abdul or are we out of uh, juice? Look like we are out of juice. So now we are here for two hours and four, 34 minutes. I think that's enough for today. Uh, did we have a good time, guys? Did you have a good time? I'm not sure how many of you is going to convert to Islam with the boobs thing. If I am you and you like boobs, that's it. The God who provides boobs is the best. Forget about the rest. You know, like I want you today, all men, forget it. Women, close your ears. Today, men, you go to your bed and you imagine yourself in the presence of Allah. And then he opened the door of heaven and boobs like boing, 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 boing all over you. And wherever your hand go, you touch nipples. Nipples, 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 nipples. To the point, I advise you to call your heaven the heaven of Nepaline. Walking down the street in the land of Papaline, Napoline, Napoline, oh, oh. Actually, I don't think you will be able to walk. You will bounce because you will be walking in the top of boobs. Oh, I don't want to forget that the Prophet, he promised us women who their ass is one mile. You see what is really good about this heaven? It is the size of the ass. One mile, which is pretty small, if you want to ask me. I mean, why one mile? Why you don't make it 72 mile? What's wrong with you, Allah? Why are you being cheap? One mile only. What I would do with one mile only? And by the way, this one mile ass is so smooth. Allah, he spent 1,000 years to smooth it. So let me tell you something here. You can challenge your friends, like they come to your house, like for barbecue, Ibn Farooq, Mimi, etc. You say to them, I challenge you to climb over the wife ass, it's so smooth. You will love, you will die laughing at how slippery it is, brother. <laughs> one ass, one, mil, one, one mile. If her ass is one mile, her boobs is what? And if the ass is one mile, her... Uh, <coughs> is how big? Is it going to be in the size of a lake? Can we do fishing there? That's a good idea. We do hiking in the ass, we do fishing in the... <clears throat> That's so good, brother. So beautiful. And truly, truly, I am convinced that Allah is God who said the truth and his book have no error. Error. Roar. Well, it's roaring time. So guys, talking about... <clears throat> Heaven of Allah made me feel hungry, and now it is time for me to go and eat some fruits. You don't look, look how lazy they are in the heaven. You don't even go to the tree. The tree go down to you. Muhammad, he knew exactly he is talking to who? The most lazy ever. قُطُوفَ هَدَانِ يَا brother. You sit in your chair, you don't need to climb the tree to get the fruit. The branches is down. You know, my friend, I don't know, I think this is a dwarf tree, maybe? It doesn't make sense. How you can stand up then? If you stand up, your head will go between the branches. Don't think about it, just accept it. All right? Yeah. Oh boy. Anyway, but ho hold on. I, we did not mention this. This one is alone is something. Allah will put inside the anus of the one who disbelieves a 70 pubic chain will insert it in the anus and will take it from your nose. Alhamdulillah. And if you read Ibn Kathir about this verse, and look, just to show you, just to show you a miracle. 
This is a verse speaking about the anus, and the number of the chapter is 69. How you can explain that? Isn't this a miracle? So Allah will insert inside the anus a chain. And if you go and read the description of the chain, you will die laughing. 6932, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Unbelievable. You know, a Muslim, he told, he said to, to me that because of me, uh, uh, there is people, they convert to Islam, brother. He said, no way. He said, yes way. And uh, why? He said, because you made a speech uh, in front of a lot of Hindus, and you told them that the biggest chapter in the Quran is uh, the cow chapter. Like, what the heck? I did that? Yes, brother. And then, because you said it's the biggest chapter, the cow chapter, all those Hindu brother, they become Muslims. Look, how I do such a mistake? I can't even believe it, I did that. I will never say such a thing in India again. All right. 70, okay, hold on, hold on. Description of the chain, brother. Meaning, he will command the guardians of hell to force play, remove him from the gathering place, fetter him, meaning, put iron collar on his neck and then carry him to hell and then continue. And then, Every ring of it will be equal to the entire amount of iron in the world. Okay, what will happen? It will be entered into his buttocks like what? And will pull it out of him in his mouth. Buttocks, mouth, iron, and this iron of every ring of it is more than the iron in the whole world. How big the buttocks of this guy? I mean, seriously, how big this buttocks? If the every ring of it is more, have more iron than the entire amount of iron found in the world. Now we understand why he's talking about the one mile butt. Because even you need bigger, way bigger. If every ring of this chain is equal to more, how, how much iron we have? We have the magma of the earth, all of it is iron. Brother, a lot of iron, brother. Where? In your buttocks, brother. Do you remember the guy from Pakistan? He said, if you read the Quran, the Quran protect your bottom. <laughs> this is what he's talking about. Protect your bum, your anal. Allah, brother. I don't know what kind of movie the one who wrote the Quran was watching. But for sure, it's something from Netflix. Perverted company. It will be entered into his buttocks and pulled out of his mouth and look like just 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 to show you more details about those things you know here it says it will be enter in his behind the brother until is throw out of his nostrils what just use your imagination and now let us describe for you brother this is a chain if a drop of the lid like this, he pointed at the skull bone, were sent from the heaven to earth, a distance of 500 year travel, brother. It would reach the earth before night. Somebody call NASA. 
Jim Horn. What the heck? I called NASA the American Station. Hello again? Jim Horn. What's. I did not call China. Idiot! We told you everything is made in China these days. So you call NASA, you call FASA, it doesn't matter. It's made in China. So Jim Horn. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought I got the wrong number or something, you know. So okay, so this is NASA. So hey, NASA, what do you think about this thing? You know, you know, like yeah. What the heck? Am I talking to Brosley? <laughs> that's that's too much. This is too much for me, honestly. Like this is too much. Oh boy. Actually, I have a complaint. Somebody sent me a message saying. Please stop. My kidney is hurting from laughing. Here we go. They will sue me. They will say the, the husband, he died because... He, my husband, he lost his kidney and he died laughing because of a Christian prince. We will sue you. We agreed that this is a program to teach about religion. It is not a comedy show. Look, this is not a comedy. This is anus, don't you see? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Anyway, I better leave you now. Otherwise, <clears throat> more men will drop dead and more women, they will be so upset from me. And maybe someday will be happy. Finally, she can replace the husband. You never know. <laughs> so I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. We pray for the Muslim to see the truth and the truth will set you free. Our Lord is the Lord and no name beside his name. Our Lord is the truth, and no name beside and above his name. Our Lord is a savior. Our Lord is the redeemer. Even in the stupid books of Muhammad, our Lord is the one who will come as a judge in the judgment day. People, prepare yourself. The Lord, the Messiah, the judge in the judgment day is going to come sooner or later. And those who follow a fool, they will follow the fool. And those who follow the wise, the holy God, the Messiah, they will be with him. God is good. And God is not a pimp. God is not a pimp who provide us vagina and penises and made his house a house of evil, a house of fornicators, a house of lust, a house of boobs. Our Lord is the good Lord, for only him is good. So we invite all the Muslims to see the truth, and the truth will set you free. You can attack a Christianity as much as you can, as much as you wish. But the one is coming back is Jesus, even in your silly book. The only one is coming back is the Messiah. And he will come with the glory of his angels and he will say, bring them here in front of me. And you know what will happen next. Everyone will go where he belong. So the question is, where do you belong? I belong to Christ. What about you? Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And we prove it every day. We love the Muslims. We don't hate them. But we will never love the devil. We will never share with him anything. We will never worship him. We will never accept him. And Islam is of the devil for sure. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care.